Page wise mentioning daily votes in the one to five, six to twelve, thirteen to nineteen. Serial number one eight eighteen. May I request? May I permit you to withdraw this special seal? You are Mr. Bridges. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Brijesh K. Ramanuj, an advocate for the petitioner, mm -hmm. at the outset would submit that the petitioner does not want to press the present petition. First of in view of the said statement, the petition is dismissed as withdrawn. Please, Mr. Lordship, serial number 14, mm -hmm. 1414. I'm mentioning mm -hmm. on behalf of Mr. Jamin Dave, uh, requesting for some time, Mr. Lordship, in this matter, inform the other side. It may be kept next week or a week thereafter, subject to coming on for this. After two weeks. Please, Your Lordship. Lordship, there is an interim relief that may be extended. Mm -hmm. There is an interim relief that may be extended. Have we taken consent? Lord, Mr. Vip. Yes, sir. My interim relief. This could be in the next week, subject to Honorable Court's convenience. Next week. Subject to I am immensely. Interim okay. granted, interim order granted earlier shall continue till the next week. Please, Your Lordship. I am immensely. Of that. number 19. Uh, requesting for a week's accommodation matters. This is wrongly notified. 19 is wrong. 20 to 26, 27 to 32, 33 to 37, 38 to 41. No, no, I found the serial number 41. However, the other side has some difficulty learning. AGP has requested me if some short accommodation can be okay. taken. Next week? Please, my lords. Okay. I'm immensely obliged. 20, 20. 42 to 48. 49 to 57. Lordship, item number 52. Here I am appearing on behalf of the respondent, Lordship. Here the petitioner is used to file a sick note, Lordship. Mm -hmm. Used to file a sick note when this matter is listed before this honorable. I am requesting some. The petitioner is used to file a sick note. When this. No, there is no sick note. Today I have received the uh, message. Okay. Achha, okay. In my. Yes. <laughs> I am requesting that. Lordship. Okay. We will we'll take up the matter. Keep it in priority. Lord. 58 and 59. 58 can go beyond record. Though Mr. Thakkar has filed a sick note, but the difficulty is that uh, the company, opponent company, is taken over by some other uh, company, namely Patanjali. That is what Mr. Thakkar informed me. So I'll have to take steps to uh, add the new party. Yes, this is 2009 matter. That's right. Mr. P. R. Nanavati Lan advocate appearing for the affluent states that there are some subsequent developments have taken place during pendency of the instant appeal, comma, which are necessary to be brought on record. First off, on the prayer made by him, the matter is posted on June 19th. To enable him to file. An additional affidavit to bring the relevant facts on record. So could it be 20 or 22nd June? Because mm -hmm. I am returning on 18th. So Correct. 20. Please. Sixty to sixty-two. But serial number sixty-one. Mm -hmm. Junior Mr. Shailath is having hepatitis, but not. I mean, uh, so I, I shall be taking up the matter. Your request is a day's time is requested because it's a bulky matter of 700 pages. Well, I shall be arguing by next week, Malod, if your lordship permits, by way of indulgence. Malod. There might not be much in the matter. No, no, if no. If it it's is not so that, bulky. No, no, not that. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, what 
What do you want? Mention what the other Mr. Sir. Uh, Mr. Sir is replacing uh, Mr. Mehta for his conference search. May I request for twenty third or twenty fourth of April for the purpose of filing a vacancy? You can file vacancy, Nama. You don't need uh, any date fixing of any date for filing of vacancy, Nama. Yes. You are filing vakalatnama on behalf of the petitioner. For the respondent. Respondent, okay. Mr. Shah is stipulating Mr. Mehta. You win Mehta. Okay. Okay. So file it. And request Along with the affidavit, you have to file it. And otherwise, you'll fix a date. Any date, you can not twenty four. There are many matters so, fixed on twenty. Yes, may I mention one thing? Uh, first of all, I am very particular, so I couldn't make it. Uh, serial number seventeen, you know, sir. Seventy-two. Seventeen, seventeen. One seven. Seven zero. One seven. One seven. One seven. Okay. Uh, we received the papers regarding the re uh, reply of uh, the other side uh, yesterday itself. So okay. may I request for some time, sir? Okay. And uh, yeah, it's so wait. Once the matter is taken up, we'll pass order. You wait for your turn. Okay. And serial uh, number 33. What do you want? Requesting for some time. Requesting for some time. Yes. Some time. Okay. 33? Yes. Sir. 
Okay. You are making request on behalf of Mr. Karadi. Mr. Karadi. This is an MCA. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. रिविजन 27 without served the copy without removing the objections if you want to and i had been placed all the checklist and everything in the honorable chief justice when when is your matter listed just now matter is listed in justice on what is the court. date fixed in the matter lordship date uh, they are not ready to south the date they are simply gave my matter was not touched up to serial number 50 the matter was please not. they had not given the dates lordship that's why don't I shout it. I am not shouting. Don't you. shout, please. I'm not shouting. Now please. every matter which is the date fixed in in the court, okay. every matter is getting a date. But I didn't either either the Lord just Lord. either the court fixes a date Lord or Lord. system fixes a date. Now the matter which is there, which is listed once in the cause list, that matter is not going in cut off. No matter is going in cut off since we have started this methodology. and that is why i'm asking you as to what is the next date fixed in the matter can you tell me darshi that is you cannot say by the said said for and that's why i had filed the writ petitions in the icon you take computer inquiry you will get the date and then come to me darshi they are not giving the they are simply give the write down the date have you taken after the after vacation have have you after vacation sir please don't that's why I you, filed the you are the please don't do this for the direction you are an advocate I right i think that what like, i'm saying you know the person it does not have the please don't the shout i'm not shouting lord please this yes yes voice. you are doing it this is my natural voice no man. don't do this you this cannot you I cannot shout and then say that this is my natural we are not permitting you to make any request sorry if your behavior is this we are not permitting you but my behavior you have to you have to first Stand you have you list, you have to the first the person court is not listening you are not you have to don't, please don't say you are Honor you are not no listening, you Lord. you are you are crossing the limits you cannot address that it's not about me or the other judge it's about the court you are undermining the dignity of the court by addressing the court you are not sitting we are not sitting in the drawing room So don't behave like this. I will issue contempt against you. Thirty after giving the. Please don't do this. Thirty lots. Please first mind your language, and then come to the court. You are not permitted to make any request in the court. But you just see, I am making the one list. You are not permitted to make any request because you don't know the dignity. You you are you are not maintaining the decorum of the court. No council, no council can behave like this. I'm coming since last two thousand four onwards. Not the, over. I'm not office. concerned with I this. Never, ever, ever, Whatever you have done in my court, if you can do this in the court of the Chief Justice of this High Court, then I can understand what what would be your behavior in other courts. So I'm not permitting you to do this. Sorry. Lordship, I'm sorry. Day, I'm sorry, madam. Lordship, I had give apology in writing. I'm sorry, madam. I'm not permitting you to do this. As a chief justice of this court, I have a responsibility to see that no lawyer can misbehave with a judge. No lawyer can cross his limits. 
you you are doing this and i have my now now i'm sure if you are behaving in my court like this you must be behaving in a what kind of behavior i had done lordship i am standing with the lady okay okay all right standing with the lady all right i am sorry Whether you are not passing the administration again you are saying you are honorable court lordship. again again you are you are addressing the court like this i'm sorry anyway lordship I'm extremely sorry, and you are not I'm permitted sorry. to appear I'm in my court. Extremely sorry, Lord. Hmm. That one lady, lady litigant cannot expect in the judgment. No, uh, no priority is to be given because you are a lady. We never get the priority nowadays, Lord. We never get the priority. No, no priority. Three notes have been given to the Honorable Chief Justice. Sorry. And six Avedan Patra have been given. Now we have to be seated at the outside of the gate. Please, you are out of the court. Please leave the dais. Not sure. Thank you, Lord Chief. And she is not permitted to make a mention in my court from now onwards. Yes. I I told you, and don't permit her to yes. do this. This no one can behave in the court like this. सिंपल सी चीज स्पेशल डेट क्या फिक्स जो है ये भी सब कर दिए तो कोर्ट भी क्या करेंगे कोर्ट को डेट लगा देते हैं डेली बोर्ड सी नंबर वन मिस्टर देवान डी प्रीवेडी Please, ma'am. Let's make for a one week time. Lord, the issue day before yesterday, our law chief sir, he pointed out me the query in which I have done a research, ma'am. That the rule word means to be admitted. Hmm. The word rule, my lord, uh, used in a order. We are not on those issues. Yes. Now we are asking you one thing. Can you answer that? Please, ma'am. Yesterday we have asked you. as to whether any proceeding is pending the reason is yes. that the whatever proceedings for possession has been initiated that is under under the order passed by drt right the drt on a, on a securitization application filed may be by the auction purchaser drt has passed an order and the collector has proceeded under the order passed by drt right Deplute. now the situation is that there are other people who are occupying the property correct correct now once this is the situation then it is not possible for the high court in 226 to evict those persons and give you possession this is which is in essence your, which is in essence your prayer I is follow. i follow right right at the most you can go to the drt saying seeking for execution of the order passed by drt earlier yes by whatever is the order yes, of sir. the drt that you can seek execution of that order and in execution drt can pass appropriate order okay. so that is that would be the yes. appropriate course for you the present matter my lord in which it is the same matter the auction be bidder my lord has approved this on bulk okay. yes. Yes, but the entire consideration and it should be refunded. Also, for the issue of the record, for the issue of the return, we will return. Now the petitioner is the auction purchaser. Yes, ma'am. So then, then what is to be done? But why, why are you challenging this order? What can, what order can be passed? Brother, by this court, that you not. are the respondent. I am the now, ma'am. Yes. Before the learned single judge, you are the respondent. Yes. Correct. Now, by that petitioner is an auction purchaser, right? He says that my money is stuck up. The sale deed is executed. I am not getting the possession of the property. He is seeking cancellation now, of sale deed, ma'am. Please, please. 
then if he is seeking cancellation of sale, did you contest that? Well, Why have you filed this? Uh, well, my preliminary objection has been raised is to below. Dikhega. In a revisional jurisdiction. This is the wholly misconceived petition. Milord, grant me one week time. Before. Filed by the... I have, to develop, Milord, I have to develop my issue, Milord. Sorry. This is Milord, a wholly misconceived My respectful submission is, Milord. Filed on behalf of the... Milord, the matter has been... Please. We are not entertaining. This is an in, this is an appeal against an interim order. We are not entertaining it. Malad, but they had already, Malad, we are in implementation and that they are challenging. Okay. I am taking note of your contentions. They this, have is sought, a, Malad. this is a wholly misconceived appeal filed on behalf of the respondent bank against an order passed by the learned, against an interim order passed by the learned single judge. Wherein? The learned single judge, while entertaining the writ petition, has issued rule to asking a issue issued rule, comma, giving time to the respondents to file their objections slash reply. Defined. It is on record. So stop. Para change. Kare. The it is sought to be submitted by. Learn counsel for the respondent bank that there was no occasion for the learned single judge to issue rule which amounts to admission of the red petition, comma, in as much as the bank is making all efforts to deliver possession of the secured asset to the auction purchaser who is the petitioner before the learned single judge. First up, the he has already sold out the property to third one. The contention is that the difficulty the bank is facing in handing over possession of the secured asset is that the borrower is is career is for the reason is because career because the borrower had already sold the land in question in favor of the third party. First up, Farah changed it. The contention of learned counsel for the respondent bank. All the contentions, Kareem. All the contentions made by learned counsel for the respondent bank. But the auction purchases are also sold, my lord. The property, my lord. Auction purchases are also transferred, my lord. Hmm. Our respondent bank in the instant appeal can very well be agitated before the learned single judge by filing a reply, comma, by by pressing by the by pressing the reply filed by them on the next date, which is 16 4 2024. You can press your reply there. Which was correct. What happened on 16? Well, preliminary objections. What, what happened on 16, Mr. Counselor? What happened on 16, Mr. Counselor? It has restated in the final hearing board, which was not 63. Okay. On the next date, fix for this. First off, the appeal is dismissed, being misconceived. Washington, well, kindly consider that the Sorry, Mr. Counselor. Only one point. Well, Please, Mr. Counselor. Your case is over. We are not deciding the preliminary objection in appeal. The matter is. But I have prayed, I have prayed before the honorable court will be before you, you can press there. The answer, you can press there. This is not the way the uh, letters patent appeals are filed. We cannot maintain appeals against every order passed by the learned single judge. This is not the way of entertaining his letters patent appeal, and you know it better. Not the only aspect. Sorry. It is the same cause of Your case is over. We are under an implementation of the case judicial. is over, Mr. Counsel. Go and present. If we are your implementing case. a judicial order, Mr. Go and, go and uh, demonstrate before the learned single judge. See, the scope of LPA is that it can be filed only if there is some attitude. No prejudice, Kare. No prejudice at all has been caused. No, to the petitioner. As the of rights of the parties have not no, been adjudicated by the order impugned. The insistence of learned counsel for the for the appellant to deal with the preliminary objection raised by the Please. appellant about the maintainability of the red petition cannot be entertained in the letters patent appeal.
Next. The appeal is thus dismissed being misconceived. May prefer expedious hearing. Sorry. There are many matters pending before the High Court. Just because you have filed a no, just, I just wanted to throw Sorry. the lights on. A Please, Mr. Tax. Counsel, your case is over. Rule means blood. Sorry, Mr. Counsel, counsel it, your case is over. We have considered what we were supposed to consider. Please. <laughs> This is the properties, mortgage with them. They are custodian of the property, they cannot wash their hands. In this matter, the, in one of the cognate matter, the Lord Shiva passed the order to release the matter before the single judge. This was the order passed on the sixth. These all are uh, identical matters. Same uh, prayer has been made. Same, the, same matter. Same, uh, identical matter. Yeah, please, Your Lordship. Same prayer. Notification. Please, Your Lordship. Because of the notification. Same one. Please, Your Lordship. Problem. Serial number three and four, along with number seven, Mr. A. V. Prajapati, Learned. Record and fix on third. Acha. Mr. Prajapati is an IP. He is appearing on behalf of. Maybe heard. Maybe heard. Mr. Prajapati. After sending leave note, you are appearing. Yeah, Lord. Uh, we are granting you leave today. I'm, I'm, I'm obliged, Your Lordship. And keeping the matters on third. Please, Please Your Lordship. It may be heard with special civil appeal two zero zero one. This, this, this matter along with the repeat special civil application number so and so on Please, the date fixed therein. The Learn AGP appearing for the state response shall file their response on the next date fixed. Please, Your Lordship. Three, four, and seven. Lots of right. Three months. Oblige, Your Lordship. Please. Please. Now, from today onwards, we will stop uh, entertaining leave note of the learn advocates because they can appear in by virtually. But sometimes, uh, and when you are time. appearing virtually, you can appear from anywhere. We don't have any objection. Lord, sometimes leave notes are not permitted, Lord. Uh, Lord, sometimes matters are not adjunct, therefore, Lord. So that is why I'm saying that we will stop adjoining fresh matters, entertaining leave note of the councils because they can uh, obviously appear virtually. Lord, sometimes uh, such matters are, um, Lord, before, um, Lord, uh, my Lords, then it will be difficult, my Lord. Even below leave notes are not permitted. <laughs> Next. Therefore, it, please, Lord. All right. Please, Lord. May I leave you, Lord? Yes, yes. Dedicated Number five, Miss Mr. S M Kekani. Please. Taxi two. Na Amin. A lot of small. I also be happy. Same order. Yes, except three lines. First three lines of paragraph three. And other rest of the part is the same. There were co-owners in that petition. Here, the two co-owners are petitioners. Yes. Okay, so this line goes. So this, there are other co-owners. Yes, first uh, that goes. Yes. Right. Here only two petitioners, two owner. You are appearing for three and four. Three and four. Okay. The question there for Mal. Thank you. Yeah. Presence. I'm with you. Yeah. Serial number six, along with serial number one in supplementary board, Mr. Anand Ranpara. Mr. Maulik. 
नाना वकील लेने दिस इज फॉर नॉन पेमेंट ऑफ दिस इज कंपेंसेशन एनएच व्हाट इज दे से दैट अक्विजिशन हैज टेकन प्लेस पोजीशन गिवन is taken over by nhi and uh, as as compensation as is not paid yes, as far as nhi is concerned uh, the money has been deposited way back in 2022 for the award that is passed under 3g okay uh, also it is what attached... is the date of the award it is uh, 38 january 2020 20th january 2022 what is the date when you made the deposit 31st may 2020 okay and 30th of uh, January 2020. That is uh, award. Award. And May what is 20... the date when you made the deposits? Uh, May 2020. May May 20. 2022. 2020. 2020. 2020. And when have you taken position? Position is taken. 2022. 31 by 2020. Position is taken in 30. Have you brought any uh, like written submission saying that you have deposited? Yes, the letter. Then go and approach the competent authority for disbursement. Not. Nothing for of that sort was ever. In you the, have apart, to apart, apart, apart from that. You have to contact the authority just, for I, disbursement. I will just point Milos. out. To my what would you point out? As my also, my lords, lords can have an extra D. What would you point out, Mr. Counsel? Collectively, what, what is that? Uh, this is the notice sent by us, uh, informing us to remain present along with the necessary documents. We went yes. there. We remained present there. After also, nothing. Okay. Uh, no payment Lick was there. The petitioner here in seeking for disbursement of compensation for the land in question under the award dated thirty one twenty twenty, and would contend that in spite of submission of all necessary slash relevant documents before the competent authority. comma compensation for the land in question has not been disbursed so far first of the contention in the repetition is that the petitioners petitioner is owner singular correct owner of various parcels of land bearing plot number so and so paragraph 4.1 which were acquired for expansion widening and expansion of national highway 151 brackets a from khambalia to deval devalia i e the stretch of highway starting from so and so paragraph 4.2 under section 3 capital a of the national highways act 1956 first up upon publication of the award dated 31 2020 as per the contention of the petitioners petitioner he has received a notice dated 28 12022 under the provisions of section 3 capital e brackets 1 and 3h brackets 2 whereby the petitioner was directed to remain present in the office of the competent authority comma nhi namely respondent number 3 here along with necessary documents first of the submission thus is that the the prayer career the prayer in the red petition thus is that a direction be issued to the respondents to respond the, to the competent authority to release compensation in favor of the petitioners petition along with interest first of para change kare on the presentation of the red petition commander the order dated 15 4 passed by us comma the notice of red petition has been given to mr molik ji nanavati learn advocate appearing for national highway authority nhi first stop the on the written instructions received by mr nanavati comma copy of the communication dated 31 5 2022 2020 sent by the project director comma piu dash dwarika nhi to the competent authority for land acquisition comma nhi comma khambalia district devbhumi dwarika has been placed before us to assert that the entire compensation computed for the under the award under the award dated 
31-2020 has been deposited before the competent authority. First of all, change. Good. In view of the said submission, comma, we dispose of without entering into the merits of the claim of the petitioner. Comma, we dispose of the present petition with the observation that the petitioner shall approach the competent authority, comma, NHR, namely respond number three, along with the copy of this order to file an application seeking, file a fresh application seeking for fresh application slash reminder, seeking for disbursement of the compensation under the award dated 31, 2020, comma, along with all necessary documents to establish his right title and interest in the land in question. First off, on the presentation of the said application, in the manner directed here in above, manner directed above, comma, the competent authority, namely responsible three, shall be under obligation to take an expeditious decision, comma, in the matter of disbursement of award compensation on per usual of the papers presented by the petition and verification of his interest in the land. So stop in any case, comma, the entire exercise of decision. In any, in any case, comma, the decision on the application of the petition shall be made within a period of three weeks from the date of receipt of the copy thereof. So stop in case the petition is found entitled to compensation, comma, the same shall be dispersed within the shortest possible time thereafter. My loss, my okay. claim towards okay. the interest amount may be considered well, by the authority. You will get the interest, which is uh, legal interest. In both the that so, interest is, you will get. Whatever amount uh, interest is accrued, you will get that. If it can be offered. Till the date of deposit. See, the interest can be made, given to you 9.15 till the date of deposit. Malo, Rest interest, if you are entitled, they will pay you. So the date. Three weeks you decide the application and next uh, we have given time for disbursement thereafter. So we have not fixed any time period for disbursement for immediately thereafter. This uh, supplementary one is also same? Same. Uh, same order. For the other parcels of land. Same order. Same, same order. Supplementary one. I am online. Notice why we should date of order don't be different. Okay. The orders to issue notice to Mr. Nanavati might be different. Second matter, notice is issued to application <laughs> Serial number eight, Mr. Pimal Patel, VMP. But this is a petition against an order passed by the trial court. Dated 22nd March 24, wearing my application under section 124 of the trade. Section 124 of the Trademark Act. What is this 124? Now, it is a provision which provides 
that the trial court should stay the suit proceedings if the rectification proceedings in respect of the trademark which is registered is pending before the registrar or the high court as the case may be. Rectification proceeding of what? Rectification proceedings of a registered trademark. And 125. Can you read 124? My love. Where in any suit for infringement of a trademark, the defendant pleads that registration of the plaintiff's trademark is invalid, or the defendant raises a defense under section 32E, and the plaintiff pleads the invalidity of registration of the defendant's trademark, the court trying the suit, herein after referred to as the court shell, if any proceedings for rectification of the register in relation to the plaintiff's or defendant's trademark are pending before the registrar, or the High Court stay the suit pending the final disposal of such proceedings? If no such proceedings are pending and the court is satisfied that the plea regarding the invalidity of the registration of the plaintiffs or defendants trademark is prima facie tenable, raise an issue regarding the same and adjourn the case for a period of three months from the date of the framing of the issue in order to enable the party concerned to apply to the High Court for rectification of the register. So either it... Can you read it further? Further. If the party concerned proves to the court that he has made any such application as is referred to in clause B2 or subsection 1 within the time specified therein or within such extended time as the court may for sufficient cause allow, the trial of the suit shall stand state until the final disposal of the rectification proceedings. If no such application as opposed has been made within the time so specified. What is the time is specified? Three months. No, no, no that is in two. Correct. Two is only when the court grants liberty. Right, my dear. There is a judgment. Right. The full bench now, of the Now, now uh, when have you filed this application? Who filed that application for rectification of trademark? That is, I have filed on 23rd January 2000. Just a minute. 23rd oh, January? 7th March 24th. And when was this suit filed? Suit filed on 23rd January 24th. Then how can it be? But subsequent to the filing of the no, suit. No, you have not filed this uh, it will fall under. It will fall under two. B two. Where the you have taken the leave of the court. No, it is not necessary. There is a judgment of the full okay. bench of the Delhi. And you can file a, a rectification application and delay the disposal of the suit. No, no, it it is not. Yes, but I'll I'll point this out. This is so. Have the, you filed the, written the statement? The that, please, I I'll, I'll leave, sir. I I'm leaving. The suit was filed on twenty third of January twenty twenty four. Correct. Right. When have you received the summons? My summons was received uh, that I don't have what the date, but, date, but it is a fact that second of February. Second of February 2024. Have you filed written statement? No, I have not filed. I have taken a pleading. Then you cannot. That, I have taken a pleading sorry. that it is an invalid. Uh, sorry. The reason, my lords, two things, my lords. In response to the injunction application, there is a defense file wherein I have uh, met with the condition that the trademark is invalid. That is number one. Number Mr. Counsel, without filing written statement, you cannot seek for stay of the suit on the premise that you have approached you have approached the registrar for rectification. Well, may I say so then in that and that too after a period of almost two months. So from within the date three of, months I can file my lords under 124 B. But that is after the liberty and then no the, the liberty. See, Law, I just, I law may be law may be that, that is interpreted. Law law may be interpreted, but that has to be applied in the facts of the case. Your bona fide is to be seen. My you are defendant in the suit. To make that you have not filed the written statement in the suit correct, for two true. months. Right? That is true. And then you went there. No, I oppose the injunction application. Along with that, I moved an application section one. What injunction application? It's not your suit. I filed opposition to the injunction. Ah, that see, that is another aspect. Correct. Injunction is one part, but written statement filing that objection is, to the written that is statement I correct, but my does not amount to, to that extent, my lords. I am relying on the. Let's say we do not. We are in 227, Mr. Counsel. But only we do not uh, do things. We may do not I find any error in the order of the. Ma, uh, two things may court I in that in rejecting your application, may I permit, may I noticing that your effort is only to delay the disposal Ma, of the suit. There is nothing. May I be permitted to say two things, my lords? Then I leave it to my court. Sorry, but two things I want to point out. In view of these findings, which are there at page nineteen and twenty, Ma, we do not. Ma, Ma, you be a supervisory jurisdiction. But in response to what is falling from the court, may I say two things? Then I will not argue further. 
Now one is regarding the interpretation of one twenty four. We are not going to do that. We are in two twenty seven. This is but not then enough. Then may I say, may I say, since the written statement is not filed, after filing of the written statement, can I move an application? Sorry, we are not going to say anything as of now because it is a premature. It is not supposed to be uh, observed by us. We are in two twenty seven. Nothing is to be done by us. Write it. Having heard, no, I'm asking for the. But he can be given after filing of the written statement. Sorry, actually, when we are not supposed to say anything. <laughs> having, like, having considered the submissions made by Land Council for the petitioner, and noticing the observation made in paragraph six of the judgment impugned, comma, for the admitted fact that the that the. Defendant that the petitioner herein, who is who is the defendant in the suit, has not filed written statement till file till date, comma we do not find it a fit case for interference. That too, in exercise of our supervisory extraordinary supervisory jurisdiction under Article Two Twenty Seven of the Constitution of India, comma in as much as No illegality, much less manifest illegality, could be demonstrated before us. First off, we may before parting with this order, comma, we may note, take note of the observation made by the court concerned in the order impugned that the defendant that neither the defendants filed the written statement nor they are ready to. Argue on the interim injunction application filed by the plaintiff. First off, the order of dismissal of application seeking for stay of the suit under Section One Twenty Four of the Trademark Act, Marks Act, nineteen ninety nine, therefore calls for no interference. Ma the petition is dismissed accordingly. Ma can I get a liberty to move an application after the written statement? No, we are not otherwise saying anything. Since my lord, we have said we are not saying anything. One twenty four five. Otherwise, the interim. You can withdraw this. The only option before you is this. Otherwise, we are not. Ma can I withdraw such application? One twenty four. No liberty. liberty to file. I Simple withdraw. withdrawal. But then without saying anything. Are you saying withdrawal? No, no. This application. But this will be as good as confirming the order if I withdraw it. <laughs> so we are doing that. We are confirming. The only thing is, since my lords have observed, I will not say so. One twenty four five section one. Sorry, Mr. Council. It says that not, even we are not the, saying this anything. Even if the stay of the suit is there, interim relief, really, interim injunction application can be heard. There is no bar against that. Sorry. So it is not the intention to delay the interim relief application, Mr. Council. I leave it. Please. We are playing hide and seek, and now you are caught. No, no, my. This is yes. a right given under the statute, and everybody knows. Let's say these applications. There is a decision of the full bench. I have not placed. Okay, okay. Back. Well, that is not to be seen by us. We are not deciding that issue as of now. Number nine, Mr. Vishal Kithakar, Lanet Public First. Sir, can we land grabbing at large? What right you have in the property? Please, my lords. Uh, this is a permissible possession, my lords. Uh, for uh, my lords, under which order is on page sixteen? But what do you mean by permissible possession? I am a tenant, my lords. The applicant. Tenant to... by how? It is in the complaint itself, my lords. Hmm? It is in the complaint itself, my lord. May I Sir, Mr. Counsel, please, please show the amendments in the repetition. Who has inducted you in the property as a tenant? Please, page seventeen may be seen for a while. This is the main complaint. Under Who has inducted you in the property as a tenant? Please show the amendments in the repetition. Please. And where is the rent deed? The respondent number two, my lords. Where is the rent deed? Where is rent deed? Please, my lords. It is on page. What was the time period for which this page property 19, was given? Nineteen is the rent deed. What is the date of the rent deed? In a minute, my lords. Thirty-five, twenty twenty-two. 
please. Correct. Please. Right. Please. What is the date uh, when this tenancy has expired? That is expired, my lords. It was for 2023. How? It was for 11 months. 11 months. Right. That is expired. So but then you vacated. You cannot. For a while, my lords, you cannot retain the position. Sorry. Only for a while, page 17 is the complaint by the respondent number 240. Mr. Council, when one, once there is 11 months deed, but then you have to vacate the position. One. Applicant number two is residing in the property since 2009, which is in the complaint. How? Oh, how? It is in the complaint Mr. of the respondent Mr. number two. Sir, please. What right applicant number, applicant number two has to please retain the position? He, please listen. Please. Rent deed is in who, whose name? There is applicant number one. Right. There Appli are two properties. Just a minute. Two properties? Two rooms. Two, two rooms. Two rooms. So one then... Room. Mr. Council, Please. you you this property was let out to you. Please. The entire property was let out to applicant number one. No, my lords. This is a building wherein there are two rooms in the backyard of the property. Okay. Wherein applicant number one right. is residing with this Under rent this agreement. For one agreement. Year. Right. If applicant number two is residing since 2009. How? Please. Under for which that, authority? Only for a while, page 17 may be seen. The complaint. Mr. Council, we are not looking to the complaint. The complaint we are asking you what right you have to retain position. But it is plain and simple. A civil suit is pending before the concerned court. Notice has been issued. What civil suit for? That status my lords may have. What is the civil suit for? Regarding uh, my lords 25, page 25. What is the civil suit for? Can you can you tell that me? That is for injunction my lords. Who has filed it? The applicant number 2. Okay. Injunction. When? Uh, it is filed before the complaint was filed. The notice is issued. Oh, what what 27. have you stated in the civil suit? What have you stated in the civil suit? Where is the plaint? Where is the plaint of the civil suit? I have been deciding since 2009. Where is the plaint of the civil suit? I just have the order, my lord, but okay. only for a while. The Report filed. The incident has been seen. filed. But only for a while, page 33 may be seen. That is the report filed by the concerned police station, my lords. Wherein the concerned police station, my lords, may have page 32. Wherein the police inspector of the concerned police station on page 32 has stated that the land grabbing provisions does not attract in the present complaint. For a while, page 32 may be seen, my okay. lords. The last yeah. paragraph. We see. Only for a while. Observation or opinion of the police officer is not binding on us. Correct. I, I am. We are asking you certain questions. Please. You are not answering those. Please. See, you that. cannot enter into somebody's property and then say that I am residing. Somebody, if you are entering into somebody's property, you will have some kind of uh, this, uh, some kind of document permitting you to enter. Otherwise, otherwise you are only a licensee. Then vacate it. If you are not vacating it, then you become land grabber. If at all, my lords may have only four pages. I may make my case very clear. Only for a while, my lords, I may permit to read page 32. Whatever you want to say, say. Please, page 32, last paragraph. The we are not looking to any report, Mr. Council. No report is binding on us. But no, please. no report is helping you at all. But opinion of committee, opinion of any authority is not binding on the High Court. But my lords, there is a civil suit that is pending. If at okay. all, my lords may keep it tomorrow. So you per, pursue your pain. civil suit and once you get an injunction, then you seek possession. But for that, my lords, the complaint of the respondent number two, original complainant may be seen on page 17. He himself is stating that she is residing since 2009. Okay. 17 for a while. right you have to continue. Lord, she is residing. After land grabbing act came into force, you cannot continue then in possession. Lord, over in the present case, the land grabbing act is being misused, my lords. To evict the, uh, the possession, my lords, of the applicant number two, a widow, since 2009, she's... Now you have come to the widow part. But she is residing over there, my lords. How? How? Seven. Under which authority? For a we are asking you, how? Under which authority? She's tenant over there, my lords. Tenant? Where is the tenancy? Lord, where is the rent deed? 2009. Where is the uh, rent receipt? Where, where is the statement that you have ever paid? Other, if you have not paid a single penny as a rent... There is no rendit. You can only be licensee. You you can you can be permitted by someone to reside in the property, but you cannot claim any right to reside. Once he says that you go out, you have to go out. You have no option. 
complaint may be permitted i mean public okay, complaint my lord so okay, we, we have gone eight. through that my lord said page 17 he okay, himself all said right that, mr council that she is paying she the rent. that complaint says he is saying that she is paying now listen to our order but only for a while my she is paying regular rent that is what in the complaint where is the where is the rent date page 17 my where lord is the receipt page 17 may be seen where part. is the receipt mr council I may be permitted to bring forward the Sorry. receipt and the, and the plaint, my lord. Over okay. here in the complaint itself, he is stating that she is residing since 2009. The police inspector and the DSP is giving the answer. Council for the petition has produced the record. The present petition has been filed by two persons joined as, joined as petitioner who are occupying two different properties, comma, two rooms, in one premises owned by respondent number two, who is the complainant herein. First off, as per the statement made in the red petition, comma, the issue pertains to plot number four, ward number seven, land bearing survey number 2030, sheet number 240 of Bhavnagar city situated on Kalubha Road, comma, opposite new police line, comma, Bhavnagar. First off, it seems that on a complaint made by respondent number two, comma, the proceedings were undertaken by the competent committee under the Land Grabbing Act. Complete name. And on the report submitted by the committee, comma, the first information report has been registered. First information report is registered. It is ordered to be registered. Hmm. Like, uh, the, the recommendation the recommendation was made on 22-2024. The notice was correct. Order was passed. Hmm. A decision was taken by the committee dated 22-2024 that a first information report is to be registered. First of all, change correct. The prayer made in the red petition is to stay further proceedings in the complaint filed by respondent number two with the assertion that the applicant number two is a tenant of respondent number two since the year 2009 and applicant number one took one room on rent in the same property in the year 2022 under a, a rent agreement dated 35-2022, which was valid from 1-6-2022, EO2, 1-6-2023. First of the it is stated in the red petition that as per the assertion in the complaint itself, comma, the complainant has recognized that applicant numbers one and two are the tenants of the property in question and they have not handed over possession of the disputed premises after the validity of the rent, after expiry of the rent agreement. First off, para change code. On a query made by the court as to what is the proof of payment of rent by applicant number two who claims to be in possession of the property in question since the year 2009, comma, no plausible answer could be given by land council for the petition. The stop only submission made, made is that even as per the statement made in the complaint filed by respondent number two, comma, the applicant number two is stated to be a tenant who was paying a rent of rupees 500 per month. And which was which was increased to rupees four thousand three hundred per month with the passage of time. First off, the submission thus is that the applicant number two cannot be said to be encroacher or land grabber. First off, in so far as applicant number one, who had entered into the property under a rent agreement dated thirty five twenty twenty two, comma time period of which has expired on 1-6-2023, nothing much could be submitted except that 
This is a glaring example of a case where the provisions of Land Grabbing Act are being misused. First of all, However, the fact remains that the, both the petitioners herein could not establish that they have entered into the premises in question under any but with kare with uh, under kare under any lawful agreement and entered into kare that they have occupied kare that they have occupied the premises in question under any lawful agreement executed by respondent number two comma the owner of the property in question first of para change kare even if it is accepted for a moment that applicant number one and two were one and two had entered into the property in question under a rent agreement oral or written comma they cannot continue to occupy the premises in question beyond the period of the rent agreement first stop in case of written Rendy dated 35 2022, which was executed in favor of applicant number one, comma. The tenancy had expired on 1 6 2023. The tenancy of 11 months had expired on 1 6 2023, comma. The applicant number one, therefore, could not continue in occupation of the property thereof, property in question in uh, occupation of the tenancy thereafter first up as regards applicant number two comma who claims to be paying claims to have been paying the tenant and the rent to respond number two comma no rent receipt has been brought before us first up however a civil suit for injunction is stated to be pending uh, stated to have been filed by applicant number two is pending. Petition number two, kar First up, be that as it may, ka, comma, as both the petitioners before us could not demonstrate their, law, their position of the property with any lawful entitlement thereto, comma, this court does not find it a fit case for interference. First off, the before parting, comma, it may be noted that for the facts stated in the complaint, that even if the facts stated in the complaint are taken into consideration, the status of applicant number two, who is allegedly occupying the property in question since the year 2009, would be of a licensee, comma, who has to vacate the property in question on the asking of the owner, namely respondent number two, who has permitted him to occupy the scene. First of all, for the above, the petition is the instant petition is dismissed, being devoid of means. The findings of the concerned police authorities, my lords, will be bearing some importance, my lords. Sorry. The impugned order is filed, signed by the... Oh, oh, all person. right, Mr. Counsel, your no, case is over. Case now you first. cannot argue. And the police authorities... Your are... case is over, Mr. Counsel. But they, they have stated... Trial. Please. Trial. Your case is over. This land grabbing act is being issued in the case, my lords. In the present case. All right. The police has stated... You can leave the dais. Please. Hmm. Okay. 10, 11, 12. Number 10 to 12, Learned Advocate General with Learned AGPs. Hmm. So that issue about the Lord. Uh... The committee where Honorable Minister Milord, Milord, we have replaced Milord, the Chief Secretary will head that committee. If my hmm. Honorable God may kindly go to page four. And is there any, any time period uh, 
a timeline is provided for yes, the yes. for every we have provided a timeline is not for the committee below so that below the... no not for the committee yes we have provided but for the uh, no. this 10 double a office of the yes, GP. yes 10 double a page number 3 Law official shall submit a copy of the order or judgment along with his or her opinion for filing or not filing appeal or other proceedings before the higher forum immediately within seven days from the date of the receipt of the order passed either at the interim stage or at the final stage. After receiving the opinion of the law officer, concerned department shall take decision to accept or to challenge the order or judgment within seven days. After that, the legal department will give the opinion within seven days from the date of the decision received from the concerned department. So, but not in all 21 days is a... This is for the legal department, but they they take your opinion also, the yes, opinion the of the GP thing. office. The first law officer is the, not the, the uh, AGPs and APPs. Not. Okay. So, on the receipt of the copy of the order within seven they days... They submit their opinion the will, along with the order itself. That will go to the legal uh, de department concerned with a copy to the legal department. On the receipt of this, department concerned will take a call within seven days and will in turn... Convey to the legal department. And legal department will say yes or no within seven days. Hmm. If at all there is any Milord uh, divergence of views between the departments, so the committee will come in picture Milord C, page 4, then capital C, small c. Hmm. Where there is a difference of opinion between the concerned department and the legal department, the administrative department shall refer the same matter to a committee headed by the chief secretary with the secretaries of law, expenditure, finance department, GAD and concerned administrative department and its members. Thereafter, the concerned administrative department shall proceed as per the decision of the state committee. Correct. Now, when will you put it in, into execution? Because you implement it? Without, uh, the only difficulty, without, because of code of conduct, we will not be able to take a call. But we will okay. see that in the meantime, without, all the concerned departments are sensitized all the honorable ministers heading the departments are synthesized. So I think if it is kept at the opening, you know, we'll, hmm. we'll be coming with the policy, you know. Right. Implementation of the policy. Yes, yes, certainly. And uh, there's one concern also gotcha. about the case flow management. We have uh, framed the rules, case flow management rules in the year 2016. Lordship. And they are not implemented. So we have taken a decision to implement. So uh, we need cooperation of your department. Uh, undoubtedly. Yeah. Undoubtedly. You know, what? So far as that service of the part is advanced concerned, that has below the, I think, advanced service. And, uh, and we have also requested the legal secretary, and you may help us in that aspect. Yeah. For other departments also, apart from the government department, there are banks and all. So those details we need so that no. we can uh, communicate and get the list of it the faster. panel councils. We will do that. No, the list of the panel councils. Once we get the list of the panel council, we will upload it on, at Straight the website. Away. It will be faster. So once it is on our website, it would not be difficulty for the advocates to know as to who is the panel council. And then we will impress upon the department with the case because case flow management rule prescribes for advance notice. Likewise. Likewise. Even in ca every case where there are panel councils and even in case of LPS, which we have not implemented. I have followed. No, we'll see that below. The, so th that's And our panels are not there. We are, we are on that pass below. We have conveyed to each of the below authorities right. to see that you need to have a panel. So that much cooperation we need. Fair enough. Because we our must. modality as far as case flow management, the modalities for uh, listing of the cases which we have adopted is being appreciated. So we, need to, we need to see in black and white. So, huh. no, we, we, so we'll undoubt it. We'll undoubt it. Then, then it becomes very difficult to keep track of the cases. And then every time, every case, court may not be able to ask the council to serve a notice. I quite, I and quite. they don't receive notice because so income tax department has done it. No, income tax has done, or indirect taxation department has done. It. But uh, other departments like corporations. Corporations, local authorities. Right. All. They all have panel councils. They just have to 
uh, tell their councils, instruct their councils, issue order, and assign uh, the task of receiving notice to one council, and then they can distribute amongst all others. Yes, ma'am. So at least when fourth day or fifth day or tenth day, whenever the matter is coming up at in least. fresh matters, they are ready. I quite see. I think we should. Hmm. 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 Ah, and they all have to provide their official emails. If they provide official emails, those notices, can lawyers can send those away. notices on official mail, mail and then they can, they can assign to their advocate. The assignment we may have to be uh, That is there. Some, some modus operandi may have to be operated. That Otherwise, is, one may feel that you know, only one person is being. That, that is their idea. We they, That is between yes. client and the council. Lord we Lord. are not in that. Lord. Right. Lord. But we, we must have a panel, number one. We must have a lot of the email so addresses. So, you need your... Uh, well, Lord, I, I can assure the Honorable God by reopening. Well, Lord, we are, in fact, we have already directed a couple of corporations which are not having panels. They have advertised. Applications have been invited. I think within a fortnight, but Lord... Can you ask the uh, those people who are uh, at the helm of the corporations or sure. local bodies to cooperate with the... To communicate with the Registrar Judiciary? Yes, sir, certainly. Certainly. So please do that. I'll do that. Yeah. We'll see that, Milord. Uh, to begin with, Milord, corporations immediately, Milord, thereafter, Every municipality should follow. Yes, yes, yes. Panel council. We, we may have some difficulty with reference to municipality the only, the 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 only difficulty to... in because once they, we get the list, we upload it, then only we can insist on the lawyers for I the follow. petitioners to give advance copy. I quite see. Then without giving advance copy, then matter no. would not be filed. So, if there is a panel, perhaps to serve the advanced copy will be easier. Right, right. And along with the, the email panel. addresses of the council. Like in less... most of the cases for NHA and this, we used to pass orders. Yes, yes. Serve notice and matters are decided I on the same way. I think we in position to do it uh, for, so far and as other local authorities. This is just right. to ensure that the case flow, man like new matters are not getting old I, and I, old I, matters I, are being I, taken. I, I, I think we should see that below that purpose is below served. Okay, all right. So we are looking to produce. Uh, Lord, let this draft policy be taken on record mm -hmm. and let the matters be kept after vacation. Okay. In the meantime, the, we'll see that we come out with the policy. The draft, okay, the draft for modification in the state litigation policy supplied in the court today by the Learn Advocate General is taken on record. Let this matter be posted on. In the first week of July, Lord. the decision for implementation of the said policy be brought before the court on the next date fixed. I'm grateful. Lord. Serial number 13, Learned German Peter, uh, Mr. Tatu Amkhe Patel. What should the subject matter pertains to urban land ceiling? Eh? This appeal is delayed by 605 days. Yes. 
restoration application appeal is dismissed as abated yes my lords we they order dated 5 5 2022 my lords the appeal was dismissed on the sole ground that that sole respondent has died accordingly hmm. bringing his application and setting aside the abatement was filed my lords but that but after 605 days you are filing application for restoration there should be some explanation lord should there is only uh, the reason is this wise only malus that it was inadvertently not filed or else bringing hairs and the setting aside the abatement both were filed on time but this was not filed on time what what was not filed when the appeal was dismissed on the ground that sole respondent has died the appeal was dismissed malus then after immediately on dated 3 10 2023 CA for bringing hairs in the LPA and CA for supporting after dismissal <laughs> After dismissal, after 10 months, more than one year. More than one year. No. In fact, we learned in September 2021, I had written a letter intimating that the respondent, sole respondent has expired. No, my lord. That was in September. You filed application in 23. Yes. And when, when this restoration application was filed? 30th January 2020. Then? Lordship orders, there is a merit in the case. Sole respondent Malas was died in 2016. Even the SCA disposed of never brought before the Honorable Court that the sole respondent was died. Even then LPA was filed. At that time, it was come in before the knowledge of the Honorable Court that sole respondent which was there. The special SCA. civil application was filed in the year 1990. Yes, my lord. Right? Yes. And it was... Firstly, it was disposed of Milox on 12 May 1999. The state mm -hmm. has filed review on 27-7-1999, which was dismissed on 10-9-1999. Then state filed LPA. During that time, on 5-5-2001, the petitioner has died. Nobody has informed Milox. Then on 29-7-2004, it was directed in the LP, uh, LPA that it should be decided on merit. Hence, the order was passed to freshly hear the SCA matter, my lords. Then after, in 2005, my lords, CA for bringing hairs were filed. Though the... So All the these issues issue not relevant. That was decided on merits after bringing the hairs on record. Correct. Mind. Now, why the learned single judge has permitted to bring the heirs on record is not relevant for right. us as I on today. Right. Now, this was then after the SCA was disposed of on 2nd May 2018, my lords. Accordingly, the LPA was filed. Agreed by the order of the learned single judge. Then, my lords, the LPA was filed in 2018, whereas factually the sole petitioner's hair was died in 2016 when the SCA was heard, my lords. Hence, this kind of procrastination not is not the happened. only heir. Yes. He was All heard. other heirs were brought on record. No, my lords, there was only one. Only one hair. On, the widow uh, had expired. In 2015, the uh, widow of original petitioner was brought on record. Thereafter, as uh, it is pointed out by my learned friend, in 2016, the video had expired. Then after... Then who time, was on record? Nobody was on record. They have never just, it, it just, was not, it was not... Just recorded. a minute. So, this petition was decided against a dead person? Yes, in favor of the dead person. Huh. In favor of the dead person. Yeah. So, the petitioner was dead? Yes. Then who has argued the petition? I had argued because, my lord, uh, in fact, when she was alive, the, when the video was alive, she had written a letter to this honorable court on administrative side that she has nobody to uh, look after this matter. Therefore, the honorable court had requested me. You to were appointed yes. as a micus. Yes. Sir. Not by the order, but on, uh, orally I was uh, requested by the honorable court to assist the honorable court. That is how I had me not appeared for her. I, I used to appear for quite a long time, but during that period, Milord, even I was not aware that she had expired. And who are the response now? Now, now Lord, uh, the uh, she had uh, no. Milord, executed a will in favor of her uh, nephew. So she, uh, he has Milord, filed the appearance. Not sure what is the date it. of the will? In a minute. Right. 
is when the bill is stated 19th of june 2015 hmm? 19th of june 2015 19th of june 2015 one five now this will has never seen the light of the day this person who claims to be have inherited the property on the yes, basis yes. of will never came forward before the red court to implead himself. But he was not at the relevant time aware. No. When uh, only it's, it's it's you cannot defend him. You were only assisting the court. I got similar. Right. The petitioner was required to pursue the petition. Now, now petitioner, the original petitioner or the substituted petitioner has executed a will. The person in whose favor will was executed never came forward. Right? He yes, he after the death of the So let us see so then the that the person who is the respondent cannot uh, agitate his right that the petition was rightly decided. Look that and he, so he, was, not, he was not on record. So then the then the petition was disposed he, of. He was not he himself was supposed to bring himself on record. No, it was the writ petition. I, I he was he was required to file a substitution application on the basis of will to bring him on record. I quite similar. Now you yes, cannot sir. argue his case as of now. Please take your seat. Well, not sure. even yes, for this very heads who are going to be bring on record with regards to that also authority strive by themselves by going before the registrar and all. And this heads are the original petitioner's brother's grandson one and the other is original pet petitioner's sister's son who are going to be joined as a head in this petition. Or as petitioner has never strived to bring what was the property my loss that property property as per the observation in the order at page 60 uh, paragraph 62 my loss. were five houses standing on the land yes sir. right the learning judge records whether petitioner or uh, was represented or not the fact remains as to whether 19... This was urban ceiling? Yes, my brother. Right. Urban ceiling. Whether repeal act would come into play or not. That is by operation of law. Whether anybody is represented or not. If you have not taken physical possession of the property, then, then you cannot take physical possession. 33, 1999. Yes, my brother. Here the this petition was pending since 1990. The finding is that the only panchnama was drawn and physical position was never taken. Then matter rests here. The pilots learn it single just as aired in considering the Panchanama. In the Panchanama, it is mentioned that these three houses are there on the surplus land. However, if my lots may perish the form number one under section six, in the form very specifically mentioned by the person who has filled up the form that for this very plot, there is no such person living on that very land and for the right See, that is not material hence well as they have no promised. it is not material whether anybody was living or not the material was that the property panchanama if nobody was living how can you draw panchanama no, my Lord, you will not go on an empty property and we cannot accept that in five houses nobody was living it was a dejured possession. It was not the de facto possession. Then, then if there was no de facto possession, then repeal act would come into play. So then you cannot argue this is urban land ceiling. In my respectful submission, all the procedures were followed. Only principle is the you may have followed all the procedure. But the law is that if on the date of the repeal act, possession has not been taken and possession means physical. Not de jure, de jure, de facto position. If that is not taken, that ends the matter. Lordship, the thing is this wise that these are the persons who are not the owner. They were just the caretaker. Whosoever it there. may be. Whosoever it may be. The property cannot waste with the state government. And my Lord, After there the repeal suppressions in the fact. That is not material. We are looking into the effect of the repeal act. Nothing is to be seen. An original owner has filed this and petition. It also, my loves, nobody is living there. I have the photographs of the site. The, all this will, is not to be seen. It's completely wrecked. It is there. not to be seen at all. We are not looking to the photograph. 
लिखेगा Having heard and counsels for the parties and produced a record, comma, we may note that the recall application seeking for you know, this order has to be passed on the recall application seeking for recall of the order dated five to five twenty twenty two. In dismissing the letters in up uh, in dismissing the letters patent appeal as abated has been filed. After a period of six zero six zero five days, comma, delay of which has not been explained to the satisfaction of the court. First off, the application seeking for recall of the order, the application seeking for condonation of delay, records in a casual manner that on dismissal of the appeal on 5-5-2022, comma, by letter dated 15-12-2022, comma, the office of the learn assistant government leader has sent a proposal seeking for further seeking opinion for further proceeding in the matter to the office of the competent authority, comma, Urban Land Upper Limit Act and Provincial Authority, comma, Jamnagar City. First stop, after a period of approximately three months, on 28-3-2023, comma, letter had been written to seek opinion The letter had been written. The opinion was sought from the Office of Learn Assistant Government Leader. First off, the amendments in the application referring to the dates of various communications between the competent authority and the Office of the Learn Government Leader are not substantiated by any material brought on record as none of the letters slash communications have been appended with the application seeking for condonation of delay. First of the amendments in the application seeking for condonation of delay are thus found to be vague and unsupported by any documentary evidence and hence rejected. First of the result is that the first second, with the dismiss rejection of the application seeking for condonation of delay, comma, the application for recall is further rejected. For is 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 dismissed resultantly. First of all, change good. However, before parting with this order, comma, we may record that Ms. Ms. Dot Hital Patel, an advocate, learn assistant government leader seeks to argue on the merits of the case to assert that the learned single judge has erred in passing the order behind a dead person, comma, in as much as the heir of original writ petitioner who was substituted before the writ court had also died in the year 2016. And on the date of the decision by the learned single judge, Comma, the writ petition was writ petitioner was not surviving, nor anybody was appearing on behalf of the, anybody was substituted in the writ petition. First of be that as it may. For it is further sought to be argued that the property in question had vested with the state government as de jure position has been taken by drawing a punch nama dated 8th June 1990. First off, it is further sought to be argued with the aid of certain photographs that since the property was in question, which were five houses, were not occupied by anyone and they were empty, comma, there was no question of taking de facto possession by 
eviction of anyone. First of all, these submissions are found to be misconceived. For the findings returned by the learned single judge in paragraph 58 to 62 of the judgment, 63 of the judgment of him. First of all, In view of the above, comma, no interference is called for. Even on the merits of the contention made by the learned AGP. Lord Shri, may I submit this wise? One of the uh, observation before the learned single judge was this wise that there is a no noting of maintenance surveyor. Okay. However, then after it... we are not entering into those details at all. Okay. We are not supposed to enter into those details. The recent situation is this way is that nobody is living there and that is very vague. But nobody has cared. No, too... they, that is too vague to accept. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Obliged. Position. Number 14, Adjan on request. Okay. Number 15, Stida Ibuch. Hmm. Application for recall is dismissed. No? Yeah, delay delay. delay to stands rejected and consequently recall is dismissed. Yes. It's a challenge to the order passed yeah. by the district court mallets where my commercial suit uh, as well as the appeal have been rejected. Let's hear. Hmm. What was the issue? Let's the issues uh, was for recovery of the uh, alleged uh, theft of electricity. Let's my case is that. The stone oh, crushing the initiated unit, recovery plus the uh, GB as it then was is now BGVCL. So, how can it be a matter uh, pertaining to uh, cognizance taken by the commercial court? Plus, it, it was filed originally, it was filed as a civil suit only, Malaj. Yes, as a civil suit, Malaj. Yes. Uh, the, by civil suit by whom? PGVCL, Malaj. They had filed for a recovery suit, for recovery of the amount. Okay, all right, then. Well, it's in 2019, well, it's the civil court converted it to a commercial. Uh... That was wrong. It was not a commercial matter at all. It was a case of theft of electricity. I mean, and it was a plain and simple recovery suit. Recovery suit. Well, it's, it was a yes. recovery suit only. So then what happened? Well, it's my, that recovery suit came to be allowed. Well, it's, well, it's, then well, it's, I filed an appeal. Correct. That came to be rejected. And that is how well, I'm before this honorable court. Well, it's now, okay. So, on what grounds appeal has been dismissed? I'll take my look. Where is the order of dismissal of appeal? Page it I. That's from page 1. I. Annexure well, The reasons would start from page 7. Second appeal is not maintainable against the order passed by the commercial court. I suppose. There is no provision for second appeal well, uh, in commercial court. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to then... Uh, let's Please it. check. I suppose. No. Well, two, I'll the only it. option is 227. Two, seven. Oh, I will have to come before this honorable court under the commercial court's... Uh, two, 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 no, two, no, seven. there is no uh, appeal, yeah. second appeal. Well, that is true. Well, that there is, is true. no question section, of uh, well, section 13. I, I'm, I'm aware. Well, I just. Uh, so we dismiss it. Uh, that my, it is not maintainable. Well, would my lords permit me to uh, file a special civil application uh, instead of the. What is the date of this order? Plus, this is August. 20, August 22. Then. Well, it's, uh, so I had filed this petition. Uh, well, it's, and you should have uh, looked to the record, to the provisions of the act. Well, since it was originally filed as a civil suit, well, it's, uh, I understand. Well, it's... No appeal shall lie from any order or decree of the commercial division or commercial court otherwise than in accordance with the provision. 
and only appeal is appellate division first appeal so let's i 60 days from the date of i was under the belief that this would be because it is a commercial appellate jurisdiction of the high court well, let's i filed it before it is not 100 section 100 cpc are not applicable here archers So let it rest there. Well, it's, uh, the, Every dispute should come to an end well, at some moment. Well, it's, See, the, the only, uh, only reason which you have given no. and the only contest which you have raised is that I was not in possession of the property. There was no electricity supply. But, and this is a case of electricity theft. Well, it's two things. So, <laughs> it's two things. And <laughs> even if you are not, no, there was no power supply. Then it is proved that you are, you were, uh, uh, you were uh, stealing electricity. No. Well, it's this stone crushing unit doesn't belong to me. This property doesn't belong to me. I was not you present. You have lost. We are not. A, I am acquitted. Entering into city. findings of fact. Likhega. Well, it's would this appeal. Well, Sorry. Well, it's uh, the. Uh, I maybe it permitted to. Convert this to no, no, no. We, we are we are not invoking 227 jurisdiction because there is nothing yes, there are nothing two, wrong in the order. Yes, there are two things that I would like to point out. Yes, hmm. I have I have supplied a, paper, a separate paper book yes, uh, on the. We are not looking month. to the paper book. Why would we look into? Yes, for two two reasons, yes. hmm. The manner in which the panchnama was carried out. Yes, there is no corroborating. We, see, even even if we are see we according to you. We can exercise jurisdiction under Section 100 CPC. Please, Findings of fact cannot be touched by us gotcha. while acting as a second appellate court, gotcha. which is not maintainable. Gotcha. In 227, we cannot look to this aspect. Well, it's, so in uh, from both angles, well, you cannot succeed. My Lord, permit me to do. I have no case. My Lord, would my Lord permit me to show to this honorable court Likhega. that this was a... The, Instant. There was a complete perverse finding. Okay, fact. okay. This, this is, there are finding two findings of, concurrent findings of two courts. Well, How can you argue this in, in second appeal? Well, or in 227, perversity is not to be seen. Well, it's, I, I, that is why if my lawyer would permit me to show just two things. Sorry, we, we cannot permit you to do that. We, our jurisdiction is limited even if we are, uh, we are, we are exercising 227, we cannot look to the findings. Well, so far as question of we law. We cannot look to the correctness of the panchnama. Sorry. Well, it's the manner in which it was considered. Well, I am not saying that the correctness of the panchnama. We cannot look into that findings. Because it's Sorry. Was, well, since it was only unilateral in nature, well, there is no corroborative We cannot stuff. look into that finding. Well, otherwise. 20, this is not the scope of 227. We are not the court of appeal. Well, this is a wholly misconceived, the, the, the instant correct, the instant appeal filed in the nature of second appeal under section 100 of the Code of Civil Procedure 1908, challenging the order passed by the Commercial Court, Commercial Appellate Division Court is found to be not maintainable in view of section 13 of the Commercial Court Act 2015. First off, when this was pointed out, comma, what is your good name? Yes, Nishant Lalakya. Nishant Lalakya. Mr. Nishant Lalakya. Not Nishant Lalakya. Nishant Lalakya. Learn advocate holding brief of Mr. Hidde Butch. Please, perhaps. Learn advocate appearing for the petition for the appellant would submit that this court may permit the present of the instant appeal to be converted into a petition under Article 227 of the Constitution of India, comma, in as much as the commercial court and the commercial appellate division court had committed illegality, manifest illegality in allowing the suit, in decreeing the suit for recovery. First of all, the, in the career, the contention is that 
The Panchnama was unilaterally drawn by the plaintiff slash Paschim Gujarat Viz Company and the petitioner slash defendant in the suit was never in possession of the property in question, comma, with respect to which the allegations were of theft of electricity. First of all, be that as it may, comma, considering the said submission as well, comma, we find that it is not a case worth invoking our supervisory jurisdiction under Article 227 of the Constitution of India as the findings of fact, the concurrent findings of fact returned by two courts, two competent courts, commercial courts, cannot be upturned by invoking jurisdiction, by invoking supervisory jurisdiction. First of the order impugned records that the only contention of the of the defendant was that he was not in possession of the property and there was no electricity supply for stop power. The finding is that in a surprise checking which was made in the presence of the defendant, comma, the defendant escaped from stone quarry and the Rojkam prepared by the officers of the plaintiff was in the absence of the defendants. First of para change. The defendant, however, has not filed any oral as well as documentary evidence to controvert the facts stated by the plaintiff company. First up, for the above noted facts, comma, we reject the prayer made by land council for the land council appearing for the petitioner to permit him to convert the instant appeal into a petition under Article 227 of the Constitution of India. First off, for the aforesaid, the appeal stands dismissed. Please. Mr. Darshan R. Patel has filed leave note up to 19th of April. Mr. Varun K. Patel. Leave note we record the leave note and fix the date.
number 17 mr m a kharadi with mr a y dala ms sejal mandavi grievance with regard to the <laughs> but considering paragraph 11 and 12 of the reply <laughs> in one paragraph it has been stated that no hearing is required But uh, petitioner has challenged the order, which is at page 15, dated 13th of February 2024, wherein it has been stated that my application consent to establish was rejected because I have not replied to the chance of hearing a uh, letter that an opportunity provided by them. But my contention is that the, that chance of hearing dated 8 to 2024. Lost it, please. Yes, ma'am. That Lord, ma'am, may apply for it, and we will consider. You can Otherwise, reply, parents, they will consider. Reply. You comply with the conditions which GPCV is imposing. We are ready to comply. But so they when have, you uh, apply fresh, they will in, in, in fact, we have applied to the authority. They have, uh, they have inspected now, our now premises. See, the, this is the only case where they have refused to give you consent to establish on the ground that you were not present. But uh, right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, only a minute. Hmm. But therefore, why the court was pleased to examine? Uh, uh, and then there is one more contention that your unit location cannot be considered as SDM Kashod has already issued order to shift your unit to other location. But that petition is pending in this court. But that order is under challenge by your special criminal before this court. But that is, a petition is pending. So then let it be pending. Let it be decided. Yeah. But then only, only grievance after is after that petition is decided, you can move fresh application. Only grievance is that so far as this impune order is concerned, I was not provided an opportunity to he of hearing. Okay, so what, the, what we what we can, can what we can say is that you can pursue your you can file a fresh application, pursue your, your claim, claim if you succeed in that matter. Only that that grievance or you decide. To shift the location. No, oh, oh, See, oh, there are two oh, options. Minute, no, no. They, the STM gave her an adverse report that you cannot, uh, the consent cannot be given to you. GPCB has acted on that. Now, so far as hearing part is concerned, they say that you can file a fresh application, but your fresh application will not be considered in view of the report of the STM, but, uh, which you uh, which you uh, have uh, already challenged I'm sorry. in the repetition. So once you succeed there, they will proceed. Well, very basics of the matter is that now under the order passed by the National Grain Tribunal, CPCB has been given all the powers so far, so far as the management of the those poultry farms having more than 500 birds. Okay. After that policy, some decisions have been taken by the SDM. So Maybe. then file a fresh application they will consider. If GPCB has all the powers and according to you, the order of SDM will not come in the way of GPCB to take any decision, yes, you file an application, fresh application, they say that they will consider. But had it been an, an opportunity no. to us? Where is the question we have, of we have, we have now setting aside authority. this order? Ma, you can, when they say that you can pass a file a Ma, fresh application, Ma, Ma, where is the difficulty? I don't understand. I, why are you resisting no this? In approaching again. Then why are you resisting? The only thing is that it is difficult to understand. Why are you resi resisting this? Ma, that, uh, the present petition has been filed seeking to challenge the re rejection order dated 13 to 2024 passed by the Gujarat Pollution Control Board brackets GPCB in rejecting 
the application moved by the petition seeking for consent to establish a poultry farm in plot number 253 so and so page 15 first of para change kari a perusal of the order impugned indicates that two reasons have been given therein for rejection that that two reasons given therein for rejection of the application are as under polandash court first up in the repetition come it is sought to be submitted that the poultry farm is registered with the animal husbandry department in accordance with the gujarat state poultry farm registration policy 2013 however the said registration was cancelled on 36 2020 20, appeal against which was preferred before the director animal husbandry department comma which was also dismissed post up after cancellation of the registration comma the petition has filed challenging kare challenging the order of cancellation of registration comma petition has filed a special civil application number 14803 of 2020 which came to be disposed of by an order dated 10/12/2020 where the matter has been relegated before the competent authority for fresh consideration without being influenced by the order of cancellation go go 32 stop para change kar it is further contended that gujarat poultry farm registration authority committee had revisited the poultry farm on 31 2021 and recommended that the same be registered First up, however, before the said order could be executed, comma, the National Green Tribunal, in original application number six eight one of two thousand seven, dated sixteen nine twenty twenty, has directed for enforcement of consent mechanism under the Air Act, comma, Water Act, and environment pollution act and gave authority and conferred kare and gave direction to the central pollution control board to process all applications seeking consent to establish poultry farms comma above 5000 birds in the same manner as was being done for farms having 1 lakh birds more than 1 lakh birds first of all i change it with this order of the national green tribunal comma it is contended by land council for the petition that the power is with the gpcb to take a decision in the matter of grant of consent to establish first of the basis of rejection of the application on the order passed by the stm kashod comma therefore is illegal was is misconceived first of para change kare as regards the second ground about the chance of hearing comma the submission is that the petitioner cannot be non suited because he could not reply 
the letter dated 8 to 2024. First off, para change. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry to interrupt. But that chance of hearing later as well as impugn order, both were posted on the same date. The contention is never... that the contention is that there was no opportunity for the petition to put up his case before the GPCB as the chance of hearing letter dated 8 to 2024 and the rejection order dated 13 to 2024 have put up on the website of the GPCB on the same date. It was posted by your register on 13 to Posted on the same date. Correct. Both the letters, page 88 and 89. On the same date, that is 13 to 2024. First of all. 13 to 2024. 13 to 2024. First of all, change. Taking note of the above comma, we may record that there is a statement made by Alan Council for the respondent GPCB. May, we may record the statement of Learn Council for respondent GPCB, who would submit that the petition is at liberty to file a fresh application by complying with the conditions seeking for consent to establish a poultry farm. For stop, in case such an application is filed, comma, the same will be considered by the GPCB in accordance with law. For stop, para change Lordship, please. In view of the above statement, comma, without entering into the merits of the case, comma, we dispose of the present petition granting liberty to the petitioner to file a fresh application before the GPCB, comma, complying with all necessary conditions, comma, with the prayer for consent to establish a poultry farm. First off, is sub, if such an application is filed within a period of two weeks from today along with the copy of this order, comma, the competent authority of GPCB shall be under obligation to deal with the same Strictly in accordance with law. Much obliged. And Thank pass uh, and pass a reason and speaking order after giving due opportunity of hearing to the petition. First up, as expeditiously as possible, preferably within a period of six weeks from the date of receipt of the application. Lots of my merit also back. It is further clarified that any observations made here in above or the Order of rejection, subject matter of challenge herein will not come in the way of the petition. Lordship, oblige. Medical or direct service? It is direct service. Please. Filing of uh, application along with the copy that means direct service. Much obliged. Thank you. Thank you. Priority hmm. Priority 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 Oh, uh, 10 years, 10 years. Serial number 20, Learned Public Prosecutor. Okay, admission to argue. You argue on the merits. This appeal is not admitted. Yes, is not admitted. So argue if we find that we will admit, otherwise not. It appears can be taken up at 2.30. Okay. All right. There are other cases. Even this can be kept tomorrow. Though there are two parts of this. You start. You start right. Difficulties that have gone for papers, otherwise I would have started. It can be so in 10 minutes we will again take it up. You get the records uh, from 2003. Appeal is pending yes. without admission. We cannot I, I, keep it I, pending I, like this. You look to this record and then yes. we'll see.
कुछ एक वन ओके ओके Parentally fixed matters, number fifty-nine. Uh, Mr. Asim Pandya, learned senior advocate. Mr. Manan Pat, Mr. Pranav Desai, Mr. Nilesh Pandya, Mr. Mehul Sharad Shah, Mr. S. P. Majmuda, learned. What was the issue? The Honorable Court may see the order dated 20th March 2024. This is pertaining TP to scheme. 20th March. This TP. was about TP, TP scheme. scheme. Yes. In the Temple Trust property reservation was placed. Now there are two orders. One is order dated 14 6, 2021, and second is 23rd November. The court has asked him to reserve uh, land for the school. No, no, it, it, it was a trust property. They placed a reservation for commercial purpose. We said that there were several objections which have not been considered and it should be de reserved. The order dated 14 6, 2021, unequivocally says that it needs to be de reserved because it's a temple trust property. It is used by school students as a playground. And there were certain okay. legal grounds which are pointed out. They have not been answered by the state government or the corporation. Therefore, this we asked them to file affidavit. Yes, that's it. That is being compliance. We are filing but affidavit now. I am today. In part compliance, we are filing. What do you mean by part compliance? Part, the honorable court had directed the principal secretary to file an affidavit because of an inadvertent situation on their part. The additional secretary has filed. We undertake will also file an affidavit of the secretary concerned. Okay. The issues Malos, which were posed before the honorable court okay. that we are answering in the affidavit. Okay. That is the only part compliance. Okay. As far as the issue with reference to whether it should be de reserved or issue. No, no, please keep the affidavits you have filed. Yes. Today also I have filed. Uh, previously, okay. we have filed. Today I am filing another affidavit in part compliance only for that secretary issue. My okay. okay. Now, can you come to the order 14 yes. 6 2021 order? First, the Honorable Court may kindly see the order dated. What was challenged before the. Yes. The in challenge a... before the uh, Honorable Court is. That in that temple. Have you, uh, who appears for Vadodra Municipal Court? You have filed your affidavit? Yes, yes, yes. I have already signed. Mr. Prasad, okay. they say it's my last time. <laughs> now, please come. Can you see the order, order of the land single judges for 12 2006? Before that, the Honorable Court may kindly see the order dated 23rd November 2021 passed by this Honorable Court, which come. Takes care of all issues, my lord. So it will be can easier. You read, can you read it? Yes, 23rd uh, November. From, no, not that order. Please. You read. You now give us the clear picture. Now everyone has filed affidavit. No, we that are, is what I'm trying we to are point finally out. hearing I, the matter. I, 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 and only I understand. Only want to point out, my lord, Mr. Prasad, they say is not the, his wife is hospitalized. Therefore, we are not adjoining the matter. Please take your seat. Your After 13 years, we are not adjoining the, the matter. The, why I am saying this order? Because no, it takes you... care of the entire issue. See, it entirely takes care. Okay, all right. That's why, brother. But still, when we are it, finally hearing it, the it matter, will shorten. I understand. No, no. Please don't shorten the controversy. Yes. When when we are giving yes. final hearing, yes. Then you have to read Please. the order of the learned single judge. Certainly. Kindly see, brother. Before that, see, may I point that. out this short submission so that it would be. It would be more convenient. These are the short submissions. Ah, yes. It would be easier to understand the controversy. I will advert to the order of the learned single judge. Before that, just give me five minutes to elaborate the facts. My Lord. Thereafter, I will take the honorable court to the uh, learned single judge's order. Now, kindly appreciate that a, a TP scheme was proposed in the year 1992. Hmm. Those dates are mentioned in this short hmm. synopsis, hmm. which I have given just now on the hmm. next page, hmm. which is emerging 
from the affidavit that on 27th July 1992, intention to prepare TP scheme 22 was published. So prior there to this trust had already sold 25,000 square meters of land under the order of the charity commissioner because it is trust. So there was already sale deeds already on record. 25,000 square? Well, 25,100 square meters of land from the survey number 388 original. Hmm. Survey number? 388. At the initial stage, there was a proposal to carve three, out three, roads three, from the trust property also. 388. Yes, 388 mm. is one of the survey numbers. Ah, the, then? Then there was a proposal to carve out a road from the trust property, which we never objected. It's a public purpose. We cannot object to it. Mm. So that is one aspect. Third aspect is that another road which was known as Vasana Bhaili Road. Mm -hmm. Now, this Vasana Bhaili Road was originally proposed to be acquired before town planning scheme was intention to frame the town planning scheme was declared. Mm -hmm. Prior thereto, they wanted to acquire under the Land Acquisition Act. So, under the Land Acquisition Act, this Vasana Bhaili Road, which is passing from our trust land, they have uh, acqu started acquisition proceedings. Part compensation was paid to the trust. under the Land Acquisition Act? No, this is not under land. That, that was proposal was under Land Acquisition Act, original. Mm -hmm. And part compensation was paid. In the meantime, there was a proposal to declare town planning scheme. Okay. So Therefore, they, instead of acquiring, completing the acquisition proceedings. Initially, there was an acquisition. They wanted, yes. But it was not completed. It was not brought to its completed. logical end. Completed acquisition yes. was not completed. No, no. So it was not brought to its logical end. And in okay. the meantime, since this was the intention to frame a town planning scheme, they said that we will take this land as a TP road, town planning road. Hmm. So they may not need to pay compensation to us. Okay. So today, so TP, fact, TP uh, scheme was not only for your land it no it is the, entire entire for the entire area entire area so but malafide cannot be alleged no that that, that i will come to my lord hmm. so this was the issue that when the town planning scheme uh, means acquisition proceeding was not completed and only part by uh, compensation was paid the land should be considered as of the holding of the trust for calculating the deduction correct so first anomaly was that something which was sold prior to the town planning scheme is considered in my holding. That is 25,100 square meters of land which was sold prior to the town planning scheme is considered in my holding. That is the most important error. Second error is that Vasana Bhaili Road which was passing from my trust land Since it is not culminated by passing of award under mm -hmm. section 11, it remained with me and therefore when it is deducted, it should be shown as land deducted from my land. So, uh, Vadodara Corporation cannot say that it is it, my it, land. Yes, yes. It. What yes. you were trying to say is that this was not acquired, never vested. Yes. So, it remained your property. So, yes. the increasing so that, scheme, yes. they have decided to to create a TP road over there. It so, should be treated as your land. Yes, and it, it, should, it, be it, it should be considered my deduction. Right. Yes. And it was also further stated that whatever compensation has been paid, we will adjust against the incremental contribution, which would be liable to be paid or to be paid to the landowners under the town planning scheme. Mm. So there was clear understanding that this has to be treated as my land and it has to be considered as my deduction. Most important aspect is that prior to this town planning scheme, there was a litigation with the Vadodara Municipal Corporation. <laughs> that there was already a litigation prior to 1992 
and in that litigation there was a compromise between the vmc and the trust that so far as road purposes are concerned there would not be any objection by the trust but no reservation should be placed in the property of the trust that was clear understanding which was agreed to by the no corporation no reservation means i'm i'm sorry no reservation means no reservation for any purpose in the trust property beyond carving out roads for public purposes there should not be additional reservation the in the trust property compromise decree yes there was a, and there was a proposal also page 29 and 30 reflects See, you said there was a compromise decree no 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 compromise it was a settlement pursuant to which the it was an out of court settlement no no it was within the court pursuant but to which but no decree is part no, 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 it, no, it was at the interim stage injunction stage it so, was not so at, it was never yes. brought on the since there was the... an injunction in favor of the present petitioner the vadodara corporation See, wanted to Mr. let Pandya, yes the in the compromise Yes, which has taken place was was in suit proceeding. Yes, right. Whether it was brought on record of the suit. Yes, what I'm just I'm trying to put. Just just give me one. It was a suit, civil suit, whereby the corporation was trying to lay water line and other drainage line from the trust property without acquiring the land. I understand. So therefore, stay was obtained. What precise question I have asked you have yes. not answered. Yes. I understand. Yes. That in suit there was an injunction. Yes. Then some compromise has been arrived between the yes. parties. It, there is no decree. I I would. And that com that compromise was but, never but, made part of the record of the suit. Yes. No order is passed. It then was, that compromise is no. No, but they have taken a benefit of it. We allowed them to lay drainage and water pipeline. Your and suit is pending. Then to the commissioner. Your also. suit is pending or not? No, it has been disposed of. Now. Then. But the honourable court would appreciate. That they have taken or derived advantage. Our suit has been disposed of in what terms? In a moment. It was not disposed of in terms of compromise. No, no. Kindly see page thirty-one. What is the decree passed? Hmm. Page thirty-one may be seen, Malod. That would make the aspect clear. Page thirty-one of the petition, where with map it has been stated that no reservation corporation has agreed that they have arrived at a settlement. See, that, that was no decree. That, I understand. The compromise which which was filed yes. it was not part of record. Right. It was not part of the decree. It's a sheer waste piece of paper. I understand. Correct. Right. Now we are asking you, what was the decree? Oh, decree, I will have to check because basically we were on the point. I, of course, I will check and revert, my lord. So See, compromise. I, I will keep it in mind and I will answer. Mm, compromise, yes. which is like in a civil suit. Yes. If the decree is not passed on the compromise, then that compromise is a waste piece of paper. I, I follow it, mm. but it was at the interim injunction stage. Injunction was allowed to be but not to operate. Once the suit is see, once the suit is decided, yes. Whatever is the decree, that decree will take its own that, that course. Then I will take what was the final outcome and how it was disposed of. That I will respond to the honourable court. But for the timing, bear me for this aspect. That the Vadodara okay. Corporation was okay. allowed to lay drainage and line and water pipeline from our land. And we did not object to it, despite there was a state. So they derived the benefit, and thereafter they sent a proposal that no reservation should be placed. Commissioner did see, send the letter. All this, all this, we can look into once we see the decree. Without looking to the decree, we will not be able to appreciate your argument. Any option? I will just Malod take it, Malod. Exact instruction on that, mm -hmm. and subject to Malod if the honourable court give some time next week. What is your stand? What is the stand of the corporation? We have already filed the affidavit with regard to the, you know, the it is pending before the, you know, the uh, government. We are asking so, you what is the stand of the corporation? Can you answer? What is your stand about the claim of the petitioner? But the various schemes are introduced. And then after in certain 
parts but they have already taken the uh, exemption for putting the construction in the high rise building that is already considered by the corporation and then after it is uh, now is only trust property is left out which is already referred to the bank before the uh, town planning board What is the stand of the state? How the plot has to be dealt with would be purely the prerogative of the corporation. Whether they have to de-resolve it, whether they want to identify it for public purpose, would be their prerogative. After unless they come up with the scheme, which is unless they have to propose before us, there will be the stages of objections. Therefore, as far as the merits with regards to whether there was any settlement in between the parties, whether they had agreed that there would be no reservation, would be have to be responded by the corporation. We would only come into picture once the scheme is placed before us. As for the latest pilots, what was the last order passed by this court? This court has made certain 23rd observations. Twenty third November, twenty third November, two thousand twenty one, exhaustively deals with every yes. aspect. Read that order. Yes, ma'am. And in compliance of this very order, we have asked them to file affidavit. So there, there is no progress as such in my view. Finally, see, we have heard. 21 12 2021 or 23rd november 2020 okay that's a detailed yes. order yes ah, yes can you read this yes mm. that first paragraph is a formal paragraph second paragraph at the outset mr funny invited attention of this court to the order passed by the coordinate bench on 14 6 2021 we deem it fit to reproduce entire order after hearing counsel for the same length particularly after perusal of the order dated 26 February 2000 passed in a restoration application whereby the present latest patent appeal was restored to be heard on merit along with special civil application. We are prima facie of the opinion that concerned heads of the government should file their respective affidavit to explain to this court as to why reservation of survey number 382 for commercial purposes was at all done prima facie wrongly taking into the part the land survey number 388 which was already stood sold to Ms. Mr. Shiva Shrey society even prior to the preliminary scheme under the town planning act at and one point of time the same somebody there court. is a private respondent as well here yes he was so a this TPO is a, this is a commercial pro construction which is allotted to the yes, private no, respondent now no, that is cancelled that is special civil application 92 that is, that is sca 92 which was recently filed and the corporation itself has cancelled it option okay so that is the, the, that petition is in materiality is almost infectious now let me complete this the said reserve commercial part was even optioned by that part may, i may skip uh the trust is claiming right in view of the earlier compromise in civil suit also on the basis of earlier resolution of the standing committee whatever corporation dated 15 9 1999 the status quo of the land is being maintained as per the entry models of this court and therefore in our prima facie view there the case is still open to be considered can at you the come to paragraph three paragraph you three. can skip this part yes 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 the in above view order. of the matter hmm. in view of the matter me the above order paragraph three of the order yes not the quoted yes. part all right okay. hmm. the above order passed by the court is explicitly clear the coordinate been directed with the corporation to move an appropriate proposal for variation of town planning scheme for consideration by the urban department and urban housing department it appears from the material on record and submissions canvassed on behalf of the appellant trust that as on day the controversy revolves around 1931 square meters of land reserved under the town planning scheme for commercial purpose this plot of land at measuring 1931 square meters as on date is being utilized as a playground for the students studying in the school run and managed by the trust this litigation has a checkered history as on date it appeared that there is a proposal to change the purpose for commercial to public even if such proposal is ultimately accepted it is not going to benefit the trust in any manner today in the course of hearing mr singh pandya first argued about the settlement understanding arrived between the trust and the Vodafone corporation sometime in 1993-94 it was pointed out that corporation wanted to lay underground pipelines passing through the land owned by the trust initially it was supposed the to the same a civil suit also came to be filed by the trust and it appeared that injunction was granted restraining corporation from laying an underground pipeline passing through the land of the trust ultimately 
after due deliberation and understanding was arrived at that the trust would be permit uh, would permit the corporation to lay down the unregistered pipelines drainage passing through the land of the trust and the trust would not seek any compensation for the same in lieu of the same the understanding arrived at prima facie is appears that the corporation would de reserve the pot in question it appears that commissioner forwarded a proposal in this regard but the same was not supported by any valid resolution passed by the standing committee of the corporation we are informed that later such resolution was also passed sometime in 1999 by the standing committee of the corporation the argument of mr pandey is that draft panel planning scheme and preliminary scheme number so and so could be said to be contrary to the settlement understanding arrived at by the trust with vadodara corporation during the pendency of regular civil suit number 1702 of 92 in other words argument is that vadodara corporation having derived the benefit of the settlement understanding could not have resulted from its promise to deserve the plot in question in this regard the learned senior counsel would invoke the doctrine of legitimate expression as well as promissory estoppel the second argument canvassed is with regard to the incorrect calculation of total holding of the trust mr pandey pointed out that way back in 1991 almost 25100 square meters of land came to be sold to by the trust to shivash ray society while calculating the total holding of the authority could not have included 25000 square meter 100 square meters of land of course this argument came to be rejected by the lender single judge on the ground that trust might have sold the land but the revenue entries in the record of rights failed to disclose such transaction the third argument canvas is with regard to the mistake committed by the authority in calculating the total deduction of the land at this point of time we are not going into the controversy as regards the allegation of corruption and malpractice leveled against the respondent number 3 that is tpo the chapter particularly is over however it will be it will have some bearing if the matter is ultimately to be decided finally on merits we inquired from mr nilesh pandya the learned counsel appearing for corruption as regards the development at his end apropos the order passed by the coordinate bench on 14 6 according to mr pandya I means nilesh pandya now a responsible officer from the corporation visited the state government almost four times the visit was for the purpose of providing necessary information it required the picture that emerges as on date is that the litigation has reached the stage of section 70 of the gujarat town planning and urban development act section 70 reads as under i may skip that that, that provides for variation on account of defect error or uh, uh, anomaly or abnormality uh, it Better is manifest again. from this provisions of section 70 that if the scheme is found to be defective on account of error irregularity or infirmity the same can be varied the power of variation can be exercised upon application of the appropriate authority the area development authority the scheme can be varied on application or otherwise by the state government section 70 is the provision providing for an inbuilt remedy to recognize a crystal claim or right of a land holder which is disregarded in the scheme even if the scheme is made final even if it is treated as part of the act having been come into force variation is a statutory process permitted under the act if the overlooking of the case claim or right of the land owner in the scheme is in the nature of error irregularity or informality in the scheme what is important to be noticed is that section 70 talks about the scheme being defective in any manner on account of error irregularity or informality the legislature has thought it fit to confer power upon appropriate authority to apply with the state government for variation of the scheme if the appropriate authority is of the view that there is a defect in the scheme if ultimately the state government is satisfied that variation is required not substantial the state government may establish a draft of such variation publish a draft of such variation in the prescribed manner according to mr vishan joshi learned assistant secretary of state government is duty bound to look into the order passed by the coordinate bench on 14 6 but it is uh, unable to do so because there is no appropriate proposal in writing at the instance of the appropriate authority in accordance with section 70 of the act it it goes without saying that without an appropriate proposal in writing at the instance of appropriate the government may not be in position to consider whether variation of the scheme is necessary or not we may only observe at this stage that no major variation is required in the present case all that is required is to dis reserve the plot in question mr pandya the learned counsel for the corporation means nilesh pandya would submit that if the government wants an appropriate proposal in accordance with section 70 he shall immediately instruct his client to do so at the earliest so that the same can be forwarded to the government and the government may consider such proposal in accordance with clause 2 of section 70 of 70 1970 for the present we direct corporation to immediately prepare an exhaustive proposal containing all necessary details and information seeking variation in the scheme and forward the same to the state government at the earliest if there is 
any format in this regard, the corporation may adhere to the same. Once the government is in receipt of such proposal in writing that it shall take up matter at the earliest and take appropriate decision keeping in mind, the order passed by the coordinate at match on 4-6-2021 and also the past history of this litigation more particularly. The issue is with regard to the settlement, deduction and total holding of the land. We may only observe one thing without prejudice to the rights and contentions of the other party. Here is a litigation between trust, corporation and state government as regards a plot of land at measuring 1931 square meters, which is being utilized by the students of the school as a playground. If ultimately government deems it fit to change the purpose from commercial to public, then utilization of the subject plot of the land is playground by the students would fall within the public purpose. It appears that as on date, the school has no other uh, open plot of land to be utilized as a playground for the student. This is one of the important and relevant factors which needs to be kept in mind while taking an appropriate decision. Let the appropriate exercise be undertaken at the earliest. We are granting one last opportunity to the corporation as well as the state government to make it stand clear. If any information on the issue is required, government shall immediately call for the same from the corporation. Corporation shall at the earliest provide the same. Before closing this order, we would like to observe that consideration of the proposal for variation should be meaningful. This is very important. Meaningful one and not just an eye wash. In other words, the state government is expected to apply its mind on all relevant aspects of the proposal, then take an appropriate decision whether to effect variation as prayed for or not. We expect the state to undertake meaningful exercise and not just a mechanical exercise. Post this matter on so and so. So, and so. There, after this so there was no room left in this order. You were required to comply. And that is why on the last occasion we yes, that asked absolutely, both absolutely. of you 20th March. to file affidavit of compliance. Now show the affidavit of compliance. The order thereafter, the order thereafter dated. It may also be produced so that that is dated 21 12 2021. There was some little development only as an officer of the court, I may indicate. 21 12 2021, it was in some manner brought to the honorable court's kind attention that whether 70 or 71. The Honorable Court had taken a judicial note and had kept it open uh, upon the authorities. So that is also not relevant. We are only on the issue yes. as to whether you have complied with the decision of the, the direction of this court or not. The direction was on the undertaking given by the council for the corporation that a variation would be prepared and it will be forwarded to the state government. All that is required is to de-reserve de the plot in question. Mr. Pandya, the learned counsel for the corporation would submit that if the government wants an appropriate proposal in accordance with section 70, he shall immediately instruct his client. Right. Now, then the court say we direct the corporation to immediately prepare an exhaustive proposal containing all necessary details. And the court also records that this plot, which is 1931 square meters of plot, which is otherwise the trust plot is being used for, to which exception has been taken by this court in the order dated 14-6-2021. So once these two orders are passed and they are finalized, only option left before the corporation or the state government was to take a decision. Yes. Where is the decision? Well, the by them under section 71, identifying this plot instead of commercial plot, for the public purpose. So then the school is a public purpose. Yes. Then re-reserve this plot. This this, this is the this is the, the learn single just yes. the this court has said yes. that the school uh, playground is also a public purpose. So de-reserve is it. And this is a trust school. The school is being run by the trust. Have you de-reserved it or not? Who is supposed to de-reserve de it? As far as the proposal has to be sent by them. You can take your seat. Who is supposed to de-reserve this plot? That is the uh, state government. Don't uh, uh, don't pass on back on the state government. You That's can't do this. The proposal has to be prepared by the corporation. The property is not vested with the state government. A commercial pl plot is not vested with the state government in TP scheme. Initially, you have identified this plot for commercial purpose. Yes. They have objected to it that there is a mistake in the TP scheme. In 14.621 order, this court says, no, you cannot do this. Commercial, uh, the corporation cannot make it a commercial plot. 
and then after all consideration the court says that it is a public purpose you you don't have to do anything you have to just de reserve it and it is not vested with the state government why would the state well, government take a decision corporation has already suggested that don't suggest this is the tp scheme which you prepare yes. what is the stage of tp scheme but under section 70 it is directed to no. what say why section 70 the scheme is not finalized no preliminary scheme it is almost it is final only a preliminary for limited scheme. purpose it is final it is to be done but so it, it is, is not finalized nor executed nor this plot is vested with the state government you what decision has have you taken please read section uh, 70 Where is the affidavit of the corporation? Corporation is already filed. Where is the affidavit of the corporation? Where is the compliance affidavit, Mr. Counsel? Lot, lot. Compliance is already made. Where is the compliance affidavit? Should we look into in this record, or you will tell us? Four four nine on page four four nine. what have you stated in this this is a compliance affidavit or you are contesting this no as per the direction given by this can court, you read this out. affidavit yes Of the four four nine rules, as per the direction given by the Supreme Court, I submit that I am holding the post of Municipal Court Commissioner as the reason number two corporation. I have required for you the copy of the petition filed by the petitioner as also the record of the case. I am competent and authorized to file the affidavit of the latest filing appeal filed by the appellant, and therefore I am filing this affidavit on behalf of reason number two. At this stage, I submit that I am filing this affidavit to bring on record certain facts in accordance with the order passed by the this court in the above caption LPA. Where is the provision for sanction of the scheme preliminary scheme? This is a preliminary scheme in which you are seeking variation. In your affidavit, you say that you have accepted the board has passed a resolution. Yes. And you have that accepted. I have not stated. you have accepted for the proposal for the variation you have given consent for the variation and you have forwarded it to the state government yes according to you section 70 is only correction of clerical error yes so 71 would apply and if 71 71 only applied when blood is final then after 71 it says at any time we varied where is the question of final sanction scheme it says variation of town planning scheme by another scheme not withstanding anything contained in section 70 a town planning scheme may at any time be varied by a subsequent scheme made published sanctioned in accordance with the scheme so he is seeking the variation is to be made in the preliminary scheme sanctioned yes. by the state yes. government that Now, we have under which provision the state sanctions preliminary scheme under which provision the state section sanctions preliminary 65 it, section 65 yes now for for variation under section, section 70. 71 the provision of section 65 will apply but section 70 would be the relevant because 70 the, is clerical error no no the honorable court and no, like the order the purpose method. cannot be varied no. for, and that is why it is clarified in the subsequent order yes yes 22 either 70 or 71 it is left open so, to them so 70 is very limited no there is a judgment on this issue i, I understand that it is limited the purpose Your cannot purpose, the purpose cannot be changed no i understand i am on the aspect of error defect or anomaly now this honorable court has interpreted this anomaly in what 
holding my holding is calculated wrongly so deduction that deduction is another is, that, that is another error. aspect the settlement is not that considered. is another aspect so settlement now, as of now you are only arguing one issue the issue of deduction is you are not arguing the uh, the in the previous order which you have read over only one issue was taken care of that is about that 1300 odd d reservation yes yes i am, I am not issue. opposed to public road all those which is carved out from my land i am not please, proposing please mr pandya yes the controversy is already confined yes by confined. that order now don't reopen it no i am not you are not on the issue of deductions and everything no i am not i am saying simply saying that this preliminary scheme is why the honorable court has prima facie please, considered mr. it to be pandya, effective please cooperate with the court yes now once the issue is boiled down to this position that about this plot yes. which is 1300 right. odd plot and the court says that this plot should be de kept de-reserved and it should be given to the trust That's for right. playground yes yes and it cannot be used for commercial purpose yes the corporation and the state government have to do the needful right now our precise query is that once this would amount to changing the purpose of the plot right. shown in the scheme right. preliminary scheme right 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 preliminary scheme decides as to for what purpose this plot is used commercial. in preliminary scheme they have mentioned that is it is for commercial purpose yes. that particular preliminary scheme which is sanctioned under section 65 e. has to be varied now yes by the state government right the corporation has given a proposal all right we are agreed right now the state government has to take action right. as per section 71 if you read section 71 yes. please be please for for one moment be with the court yeah, sure. then you will understand what we are trying sure. to say yeah, sure. I'm understand. section 71 says that subject notwithstanding anything contained in section 70 seven section 70 talks of error irregularity or informality Correct. This is not a question of error. This is not a question of irregularity. This is not a question of any informality. This is a question where you agitated before the court that there was some settlement right. which may not have been reduced into writing, right. but you have given consensus to take up, take down and the again. pipelines and all, and that work was completed without any compensation, with the understanding that now they will not reserve any plot for any purpose. That is right. Now for this plot, which is reserved by them for commercial purpose, yes. it has to be de-reserved and it has to be given to you right. by modifying the scheme, that is right. preliminary scheme. Yes. So once this step is to be taken, then the state government, by applying this section 71, by virtue of section 71, right. 65 will apply. Right. Right. So now the modified scheme which the corporation has forwarded to the state government, right. that has to be sanctioned by the state right. government but they by invoking not, they power under saying that way. The difficulty is that they are not saying, they are simply saying that you change it from commercial to public means dispensary, fire station, all no, those no, things. That is no, what they are saying. No. You, you, you sanction the scheme. Be, be Where is your decision to sanction the scheme? They have forward. You can't say that this is the duty of the corporation. Now, corporation has done its part. Yes. Corporation has forwarded. Has there is a proposal of the corporation? They have agreed. Ki, no. Now, this plot, the purpose of the plot, which is reserved for commercial purpose, it is to be converted to pu public purpose. Now, whether the corporation, this has never been yes. reserved never been uh, uh, vested with the state government right now the corporation once says that this has to be de-reserved or the purpose is to be changed from commercial to public purpose then you have to sanction it where is the scope for you to say anything we are not even on that. so do that where is the order we will pull every ev don't don't give any explanation after this order you cannot say it is 70 or 71 where is the action on your part? Don't say final. This 65 is preliminary scheme. Don't say that we will decide at the final uh, final uh, uh, town planning scheme. Final town planning scheme is only for computation part. The section 65, by, by, read section 71. I've read. I've read. Yeah, what, what have you read? The Honorable Court has 
by virtue of section 71 section 65 will come into play yes. section 65 talks of uh, sanction of uh, preliminary yes. scheme yes. why don't you take a decision we will uh, we will say that you are in contempt we are issuing notice to you honorable court may keep it on monday itself my lord i have put it to end will make a box. otherwise we will issue yes. contempt notice we have given you sufficient time the honorable court may keep it on you have no option but to comply with the directions given by this court and take this affidavit back otherwise we will issue contempt that, notice to you that allows will ensure that the new the, uh, the rightful affidavit in true compliance is filed in spite of in spite of categorical direction issued by us in the order dated 23 2024 noticing Two orders of this court dated 14 6 2021 and comma 23 11 2021 and the latest order dated 14 2 2024 comma no compliance has been made on the part of the secretary comma urban development and urban housing department of the state government First off, in the affidavit file, we may note, Kariga, we may note that in the affidavit filed on behalf of the corporation dated eight four twenty twenty four, comma, it is stated. That by communication dated 11 8 2021 to the Urban Housing and Development, Urban Development Department, comma, Gandhi Nagar, comma, it was already informed that the Town Planning Committee has resolved to make changes on 28 7 2021 and it would be placed before the General Board. First of the General Board had approved. The changes on 26 8 2021 and resolution of the general board had been forwarded to the state government by letter dated 31 8 2021. First off, on 6 8 10 2021, comma, the corporation wrote a letter to the state government for taking necessary action in view of the resolution, which was already forwarded to the state government. First off, repeated communications were sent thereafter and the commissioner and the municipal commissioner Kamabadodra Municipal Corporation wrote, sent a proposal and wrote a letter to the secretary, Kama Urban Housing and Urban Development Department, Kama Gandhi Nagar. First off, the Town Planning Committee has further passed a resolution dated 28 7, 2021, and the General Board has passed resolution on 26 8, 2021. First off, again, letter dated 13, 12, communication dated 13 12, 2021, had been sent by the Municipal Commissioner. To the chief town planner, comma, state of Gujarat, bringing the entire facts before him and requesting to give consent for variation under section 71 of the Town Planning Act. Full name. First off, the statement in the affidavit of the municipal commissioner. In the personal affidavit of the Municipal Commissioner, Vadodara Municipal Corporation, is that only after the sanction by the state government, comma, the scheme can be varied. First off, it is further stated that the scheme is still not finally sanctioned 
and the state has not given its no objection for proceeding further for variation of the town planning scheme under section 71 of the act and the corporation at present is waiting the response of the state government post up it is further sought to be submitted that the scheme that the preliminary scheme can be varied only under section 71 of the town planning act and the proposed variation cannot be made within the scope of section 70 of the act first off taking note of the above stand of the corporation comma we may take note of the provisions of section 70 and 71 of the town planning act 1976 as also the order passed by this court dated 21 12 2021 23rd november and, and 21 and okay. correct and 23 11 2021 wherein categorical direction has been issued to the state government to the corporation correct as also the state government to take a decision in the matter of variation of town planning scheme whether under section 70 or 71 of the act tpr post of para change from the facts noted above and from the career from the facts discerned from the facts discerned from from career from the reading of order dated 23 11 2021 this court court in the order dated 23 11 2021 had given last opportunity to the state government to take a decision in the matter of variation of town planning scheme on the observations made therein and with the with the categorical direction that the consideration of proposal for variation should be meaningful one and not just an eye wash the state government was directed to apply its mind on all relevant aspects of the proposal and take a dis an appropriate decision to give effect to the variation as prayed to decision whether whether to give effect to the variation as prayed for or not. First off, no decision of the state government has been brought before us in spite of sufficient time granted by us in the order dated 23-2024 and 9 4 2024 first of we are of the considered opinion that the state authority hmm, even the uh, we, we are we are the we are we are therefore of the considered opinion yes by order dated 23 2024 comma the additional chief secretary comma urban development and Urban Housing Department, Gandhi Nagar was directed to file his personal affidavit, uh, calling his explanation as to why action be not initiated for non-compliance of the orders passed by this court. First off, no, no explanation is forthcoming with the affidavit of the additional chief secretary, comma, Urban. We see it is forthcoming with the affidavit of the additional chief secretary urban development and urban housing car department comma gandhinagar till date so we are therefore of we we are therefore we therefore reach at an irresistible conclusion that the additional chief secretary comma urban development and urban housing department comma gandhinagar is in clear contempt of the directions of the school first of para change kare however in order to give nay however card the explanation is therefore to be furnished by the officer concerned as to why the proceedings for 
committing willful disobedience of the orders passed by this court in the year 2021 and 2024 be not initiated against him. First of all, let this matter be posted on date. Today is 18th, 25th. <laughs> We are not in entertain the food. I say, the book is written. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Such the matter which was just being heard before the recess with reference to town planning because the query which the honorable court there is one brief answer the reason i'm mentioning the only request is on 25th will clarify in depth the order my lords may remain as it is for the timing for the reason because there is an answer in the provision of law section 51 stipulates that only upon finalization of the town planning scheme which we have also incorporated in our affidavit see all this is not open for you to argue now all this issue has been taken care of by two orders of this court, I, you have no option but to comply with those orders. I go down. But subsequent order, therefore, 71 was. You that. cannot say anything on affidavit. Pass an order. Plus, Where is the order? Plus, there, there is a conference. Where is the order on the proposal? Order, proposal has been accepted. That order is there. It is also part of the previous affidavit. But it is in nature of consultation. Only once the town final town planning scheme is, was, uh, is sanctioned. Thereafter, the subsequent section 65 is diluted. 65 would only come after 42. It's a complete process from here on. So let me take that. This, this proposal is accepted. Then also it will go back to 42 draft. There has to be an order by the competent authority. Yes, but 65. Where is the order of the secretary? Where is the order of the secretary for accepting the proposal of the corporation? It is, it is, if you Do you understand what the court is asking? It would not be under 65. It would be, Malas, for 42, it would be accepted as a proposal. 42 draft round in planning scheme again has to be Malas framed. Thereafter, the only... Please plan... don't put your uh, your uh, yes. own perception into the Malas, this purely... entire issue. Malas... The order is there. Comply that order. We are not listening anything else. Please, the only request. We are not listening anything yes, else. Only request that order which the Honorable Court... Order has... is there. We are not changing the order. For the, it may remain as it we is. We are not the... changing the order. Because it is part of the... Act. We are not changing the order. Please. You have not filed the affidavit of the officer to whom I, we have I, that, that called I'm, for. Yes, that I... That, I that is why you are in contempt. That that I cannot run away from that. The affidavit is not affirmed by the... Don't take everything lightly. No, no. That can never be the intention. Only request that order the Honorable Court... Sorry. Keep it till 25th. Sorry. Please. And don't come here with caveats. No, no. That... That can never be done. Whatever is to be done on your part, complete it. Yes, it would be done as far as my loss in view of this. It, it, is, it is still to be done. But there is a scheme. So that is why you are in contempt. The, the scheme has those two. Please. Please. And don't give, give these kind of explanation on that day. Otherwise, you will land your officer in difficulty. Please. Be careful. We are not going to accept these explanations. Parted matters peremptorily fixed at 213 supplementary boards number two and three. Mr. Mihir Joshi, Leonard Senior Rocket, Mr. Jay Kansara for Mrs. Wadia Gandhi and Company, Mr. Percy Kavinal and Senior Rocket, SP Madhu. So, I think your arguments are over. What else is to be placed? I have to show my next video. I will show us how the awards deal with it and why we have to slot it within the parameters of 34 and 37. We are not going into why. <laughs> we are not going into the question of why. Why have you done this? Yes, yes. I we are not going into this. Your officers have put it to me very clearly that it has to be one part of your contract or authorized 
and uh, and so my endeavor my endeavor was to state that our principal contention has always been why it comes under the limited jurisdiction of 34 and 37 is that our case is that it either ignores the contract or modifies the contract between the parties for that Manoj, i had given a overview yesterday I had yes. given an overview yesterday and your lordships, uh, I was taking your lordships to the contract and the uh, disclo risk disclosure statements which we exchanged with the client to indicate that the question of margin in such a, such a trade is, it involves various elements, one of which is the span, uh, the exposure and the actual real-time exposure which is being undertaken or which is being, the client is being exposed to, which has to be uh, set off by uh, supp supplying the securities, etc. Uh, and therefore, my case was also that this was not unknown, which a lot of us were uh, considering. So, Manoj, I had pointed out yesterday the documents we exchanged with the client as part of the term of dealing. The lot of had seen rights and liabilities of brokers that your lot of have in the last noting, your lot of must have noted rights and liabilities of brokers and clients. I had pointed out the liquidation at page 306 I was reading, Manoj. Maybe your Lord Chief said, just concluded noting that 306, maybe the, the your Lord Chiefs were not on a first reading. Your Lord Chief said that this doesn't seem to cover 306 liquidation and close out position clause 19 on page 306 of the paper. Hmm. That probably would be the last Manoj. Sir. That we have considered, but according to us... Yeah, exactly. I'm just for continuity, I think your Lord Chiefs, my focus was on the second line, close out uh, the positions. Stock mm -hmm. uh, without prejudice to the broker's other rights, including the right to refer the matters to arbitration, clients uh, and stock broker to close out. Your Lord Chiefs are on the third line. Mm -hmm. Clients position for non-payment of margins or other amounts, outstanding debts and adjust the proceeds of liquidation. So, Manas, our case was that the transaction between the parties is not strict or sensu that I give you a notice of something which is unknown to you, quantify it, you pay it then or don't pay it and then my ride starts. This transaction by itself between traders and the trading member, that is us, in the stock exchange is viewed on real-time basis and the exposure limits and the deficit margin is known to the parties. And the conversations, etc., which of course the will not go in detail, but they indicate that parties were aware that there is a deficit and how to go about it. Correct. So now this close out is what I had emphasized. Your lordships, the conclusion your lordships put to us, Manoj, that the conclusion is of the uh, appellate award that these transactions of futures which were undertaken by the appellant on 1021 were unauthorized. Your Lord Chief, recollect kindly. Some of the other cases that the entitlement under clause 19 is to close out the positions. And when the options are illiquid, the only methodology of closing out the position is by hedging. So that must be considered as a power which comes within the terms of Clause 19. Otherwise, this power is rendered redundant. So that is what I had said yesterday. Then now, the next document is the risk disclosure statement, which a lot just will find at page 131. Sorry, that other was page was 304. This is 313 is the risk disclosure document for the capital market and derivative segment. Now we are concerned with derivatives as I had indicated. Here also the Honorable Court would find that the non-selling or the illiquid position is contemplated at page 315.
last clause. One point seven point two. Two. One point seven point two. Mm. Last clause. Mm. Mm. Under certain market conditions, it may be difficult or impossible to liquidate a position in the market at a reasonable price or at all, when there are no outstanding orders either on the buy side or the sell side, or if trading is halted in a security or derivatives contract due to any action on account of unusual trading activity or security derivatives contract hitting circuit filters or for any reason. So this illiquidity, the line of the sequence which I am trying to uh, put before you. That is the risk part. Uh, correct. So there is an illiquidity. Uh, correct risk. Then your lotches will have in the risk disclosure the right to close is page 323. Uh, paragraph number E, three two three. Paragraph bold E, hmm. the right to not just fine, hmm. right to uh, sell the client securities or to close client's position. I am our attempt was to close the client's position without notice to client on account of non-payment of client dues. It covers both modes. I'll read. If a client fails to make payment of a consideration due to Edelweiss, that is us. In respect of any one or more securities purchased by him before the paying date notified by the exchange, from time to time, Edelweiss shall be uh, at liberty to sell or liquidate the securities received and pay out as per the policy of Edelweiss. Notified by the exchange from time to time. Paying date. Yes, that is the. These pay are the date. words. Uh, but this doesn't relevant. apply. This is pay in date. Huh, what pay in date. That is different notified. from. Our, if, correct. But just to no no no, I'm not. Uh, Joining issue, I'm saying that this is paying date for the entire security, not the margin. This is different. This is pay in and pay out. So on that transaction day, which a lot shifts or T plus one, the settlement date, where you close the position of buy and sell, this is what it refers to. These four lines are not directly relevant. Ones. We are concerned with margin. So this does not deal with the just one line after. money position Correct. according to you. Correct. Just one line after. Mm. No, no, the first four lines don't. I'll just read for you. Uh, without uh, the loss, if any, on account of liquidation shall be to the account of the client. Now, as your office may say this. Without prejudice to Edelweiss other rights, Edelweiss shall be entitled to liquidate, close out all or any of the client's positions without giving notice to the client for non payment of margins or other amounts, outstanding debts, etc. Edelweiss, on best effort basis, will try and inform the client and give him reasonable time for payment. However, it will be for the responsibility of the client to track his margins or obligations by going through the margin statements sent to the client on daily basis. Any and all losses and financial charges on account of such liquidation or closing out shall be charged to and borne by the client. Edelweiss has the right but not the obligation to cancel pending orders, to sell, close, liquidate, all open positions, security shares when the market-to-market -market percentage reaches or crosses the stipulated margin percentage whichever is earlier. In the event of such square off, the client agrees to bear all the losses based on actual executed prices. Mm -hmm. The client shall be solely responsible for all and any penalties and charges levied by the exchange. So this later part, starting from without prejudice, is what we are requesting uh, for this honorable court to consider, which one of this part of the contract and stands ignored or modified by the awards and the judgment under section 34, confirming the award, I mean the appellate the words used, the are, the words used are clear without prejudice on by going through the margin through margin statements sent to the Correct. client but on not daily basis. Your option may see the so first. it's not that that market is volatile and it's dropped and at that moment you could have taken action. No, there is no, there are two things to it. Now, one is if this is so you can do it like uh, then this this kind of people cannot stay in the market. No, there are two two aspects to it. Your archives uh, in principle I am not joining issue that every minute I can say give this give that. Give. I am, no, I, that is not our uh, And basic this is content. what the market is. Yeah. What I am saying is, Manoj, that the margin uh, exposure of the of the client 
would be available to him online it, it is known to him no it's issue about correct. that so no no that that is no issue about that uh, no issue i saw i'm uh, sorry, not sure about no sorry. issue about that correct. they are aware yes but still this is a share market yes which goes up up and down yes so our perce- perception is that you were not supposed to act at that point of time you're not you have to wait you were required that, to wait that is otherwise not- uh, you are not a fit person to remain in the market. No, what? market is so it it goes up and down. No. So on every uh, every it was a knee jerk reaction. In fact, on your part, which we are perce- perceiving. So this knee jerk reaction on your part is not uh, uh, not substantiated by any of the procedure or the terms and conditions of the contract. But the submission is this wise. That Manoj, the market, which which is again not a matter of a fact, which is not disputed, that the market started falling from nine seven, from the, the even pre opening, even in pre opening. No issue about no, that. Just I just I get what your lawyers are putting to me. I'm just trying to respond. So Manoj, it is on the on the aspect of whether it was based on assessment or knee jerk. I'm only trying to answer that. So Manoj, the market starts. I'm just trying to answer that. Mm-hmm. So the market starts falling from 9-7 onwards. And now the exposure, which at the end of the trading day was 1.07 crores, the, the deficit, the deficit margin on uh, as of the open positions on 12th, the end of trading on 12th, the uh, deficit margin was about 1.7 crores. Which they have squared 1.07 crores, which they pay at 837 or something. Out. Which they have paid. When the market, the pre opening takes place, the market starts dropping. And at 9 7 or so, uh, the according to us, Manas, and probably not uh, uh, according to us, Manas, the margin deficit shoots up to 9.71 crores at 9 7. Thereafter, Manas, trading starts at 9 15. Uh, it drops continuously till 9 21. At that time, the margin exposure is 11.90 crores. At 9.21, it stops the, it's because of the circuit breaker. So, Mons, we are then in discussion with the client saying that this exposure is huge. The deficit is running into a large amount and your margins cover 4% of your exposure. That is what comes from the conversation. It comes to about 4% of the exposure, which I read yesterday, Manoj, of 203 crores. We said that you have about 3 crores or odd, Manoj, whatever is the figure. So, Manoj, that it be, this comes up. Now, the question then is, it starts on remedial steps. What is to be done? In, it is in this context, which I am uh, urging the court to see, that the assuming your, what the appellate o- award says is right, that where is the notification of quantification? Of the margin, even in that case, Manoj, the exposure or the deficit in a margin is a given, and then the aspect of remedial steps comes in, where it goes back and forth. In that context, Manoj, I am reading clause E, uh, that starting from without prejudice, so that your lordships have already marked. Then, Manoj, your lordships may the last. Uh, there is one finding uh, or incidental which is said that if it is without margin. Your futures, which you have executed without margin, uh, would be to your account. That page 335. Paragraph 5 on page 330. The client is responsible for all orders including any orders that may be executed without the required margin in the client's account. If the client's pending order is executed despite a shortfall, the client shall instantaneously. So this was I was hoping to persuade the board. Was, it is instantaneously the margins. So then it requires uh, the client to make good the shortfall. Yes. Right. 
instantaneous but yes. then so then they they were supposed to do this that is the, in the conversation you, you could not have done this no that is as far as the shortfall in margins is they concerned. have never agreed shortfall in margins they were obliged to okay they were obliged to but right. your chips are right they have never agreed to uh, sell futures right. etc which we are saying that that is a unilateral right given to us to close the uh, no, that, option that is not at that stage it is a uh, it is only after the margin statement is given to uh, them sorry. and they did not respond to it that I, uh, therefore therefore i am saying that the requirement of the margin statement requirement the court has relied upon certain regulations which also need to take your lordships to but i am saying in addition to that the obligation to make good the margin is always on the client correct that there is no dispute about, about that then manoj your lordships may have page 356 paragraph 6 thus paragraph 3 uh, sorry page 356 paragraph 6 the stock broker may require the client to immediately deposit cash or collateral into their account prior to any applicable settlement date in order to ensure due performance of their open contractual commitments on failure of the client the stock broker is entitled as right to sell any or all securities or close all or some open contracts and all other collateral in their account buy or any or all securities and uh, other collateral which may be short in their account cancel open orders and or close any or all outstanding accounts uh, the stock broker may exercise all these options etc next line client is responsible for all orders including orders that may be executed without the required margin in the client's account if the client's order is executed despite a shortfall the client whether or not the stock broker intimates a shortfall in the margin to the client instantaneously make up the shortfall either through delivery of shares in the event of sale or credit the required fund in the bank account via wri or personal check via via wire or personal check cashier check or account transfer any other means i am just indicating about the contractual terms which in different circumstances do impose an obligation of a continuing margin deficit obligation to be complied with by the client the so this is on that on the then one of the contract between the parties is what is known as a service level agreement that your lordships may find in the service level agreement is page 257 of paper book 1 257 we have said now that these two are the general terms of the contractual conditions between the party page 257 If you before that, my friend points out was one. Sorry, no. Uh, my friend says page in the risk disclosure statement. I missed one clause. No, three thirty four. If you lost this, my gentleman. Sorry, to go back and forth. Three thirty four. Three thirty four. Three thirty four. Clause four a. उटिंग 
or liquidate all or some of the outstanding positions of the client as it deems fit in its discretion without further reference to the client or any resultant losses that may occur due to such whereof shall be borne by the client. Stock broker shall be fully indemnified and held harmless by the client. But before you read 4A, you I have think. to read 2 as well. I think. Clause 2. The stock. Clause 2. Hmm. The stock broker is entitled to demand from the client payment of margin in the form of cash, securities or other form as prescribed by the exchange from time to time as it may deem fit. The client hereby shall make the margin payment as demand by, demanded by the stock broker in time. And if the margin payment is in the form of cash and securities, it should be in the proportion as defined by the stock broker or exchange from time to time without prior notice thereof. In case where payment is received by way of check, the stock broker would have the discretion to reduce the orders only upon the realization of the funds of the sector. So this 4A is in furtherance of 2 and 3. Uh, it, uh, it is it says, not uh, taking care of the situation which you are referring to. Who says stock broker payment? Two, of three, and four are to be read together. Yes, ma'am. Uh, they two, cannot be read in piecemeal. Yes, ma'am. Two says client payment. Two says of, is entitled to demand. The entire three, demand payment of margin. Three says entitled to withhold. Withhold shares. Yes. And then four says that shall comply margin. with the requirement of payment. Yes, ma'am. So this is in relation to payment as per demand raised in two. Correct, ma'am. So two is uh, payment of margin. I, and your then are... sell, transfer, or dispose of securities already placed that with it as margin square of liquidate ah, that or of, that we have concerned with square or some of the outstanding positions of the client. That's outstanding. This situation would only occur in case of the in case of a default. So this, this talks of failure. Yes, exactly. Right. Shall comply with. Failing yes. which? Our that means there has to be a situation of failure. Understood. The Rochester were from, that is, I, I, the only answer to that which I am giving is, Manoj, that the parties have proceeded on the basis that there is a margin deficit. But that was your and assumption. That, no, there is conversation. I that, can take your option to that. Whatever. That there is, conversation is also... Like it was within how many minutes? 30 it, minutes maximum. Yes, ma'am, but correct. But right. nine uh, maximum at time period was 30 one hour. minutes. So it would be 9 16 and uh, 10 21. Right, right. So and in, in the meantime, the market was closed also. Market there was, was closed, and the presumption is that the fall would continue, which it did for another six minutes. But to just respond to what your lordships are saying, was if the Honorable Court puts to me that notification of quantum of margin, then the if, record does not if, so indicate. If uh, this, uh, uh, what you say is accepted, that nobody can do, then nobody can do business in so the this share was, market. This was not out of it's the It's not blue. possible to, in fact, do business in the share market on at all. Point. Because at every time, whenever this kind of situation occurs, the it falls and then you will sell but, it. On, on the contrary, so where, where would be like this? This is uh, this is market and the way this business goes. But may I just try and answer? And that is why this is all risk factor and everything puts responsibility may, may of I the just, client. May I just answer how we have placed our matter before the uh, authorities below? We have said, Manoj, that no, no doubt. We understood that. Uh, but also, that is not like we are not able to accept yes. that you could have done this. No, we have not done so. Therefore, that is all I am saying that. The fact that there is a margin deficit is my assertion. That there is a and that we have that, noted. So one, the conversation that was only subject to how you According to us, that was only momentary. Yes, but at, and at, that moment moment is third one hour. Moment did that. not permit you to do this. No, just just I have not done it unilaterally. Because in that one hour, there are conversations between the parties where the discussion is whether we liquidate the put option. And our insistence that it will further increase your losses, you will have to sell a futures position to hedge. All this they, is part they of discussion. They have not permitted you to do that. Yeah, but, but Manos, therefore, they have not also offered the margin deficit which they were aware. That is our there case. There was no deficit at all. No, there was. No, that There is no dispute. That that was momentary. Deficit. Not momentary. It went on from 9.17 to 10.26. That is one hour and 10 minutes. There was a deficit till we took the action of selling the futures. It is not that we sold futures 
at a time when there was no deficit. Okay, all right. That let, is what let I them uh, Yeah, exactly. Submit so I just part. so yeah. SL, you're actually going to see the generally one question. Yes. Generally, what is the settlement time for these kind of transactions? When what, do you do a settlement? There are two things. One is, one is if you are in in securities as such, not then it is T plus one, which I just read that that is the transaction okay. date plus one. Yes. In in Malang, settlement is T plus that is one at that time you could have settled. Not this. This one. This has nothing. This one. What this margins is an options market. This is Manos derivatives. There must be settlement time. So Manos, there the settlement time would be. It would come some date in the future, and it can be exercised at any time. The algorithm places the buy and sell positions uh, every day during every day. Otherwise, so he is taking the risk. You are not permitting him to take the risk. <laughs> Like in a market, he has put up his uh, this uh, whatever money options. Yes, but he has, he has sold options. Right. He has sold options. So he was taking risk, and while he was playing in the market, he is entitled to take that risk. But it is uh, the point is, which we have said is that. But, and then if if your this kind of action is permitted, then no, then no one can take the risk no, in the therefore, market. Therefore, I am only saying this that. I I re your have already noted it yes, that yes. I am not permitted. I am not permitted. Then you will regulate as to how they will play in the market. That is that is what I am reading from the provisions that I have to regulate their exposure. Not to this extent. Because Manas, I am no, saying you cannot regulate as to how much exposure. Not they me, will... but Manas, the margin. Therefore, the SEBI. You has... are only concerned with your margin. Manas. That's right. Margin right. is hundred percent. Now, if if your argument is accepted. The way you regulated your margin money, they cannot play in the market. Nobody can play in the market. That is, um, they have the right to take the risk and wait for some moment as to whether the situation is remedied or not. In and the situation is remedied. In accordance with the that no that would that fortuitous circumstance correct? Had it not been, you could have done that. Not at that moment. No, I am only saying now that when the ex the SEBI, I am only reading the SEBI regulations and circulars. We show. have said that we have not got anything in your. No, favor. I'm only say, right now. Your lawyers, but your lawyers would at least accept that the requirement of a margin with us. No, no issue about that. And our margin with the stock exchange. No, these no are issue, mandatory. No issue about Correct. that. Correct. And now the obligation of fulfilling the margins are also of the client. No issue. He cannot transact without margin. No dispute about. Therefore, that. the converse. All we are saying is. That the transaction we said you have to close the position. I think let them uh, now answer. Yes, then was I said. Uh, heard... not, I'll just point out the relevant documents. Was your office may have the service. Level. I think all the documents have been placed. You know, was service level agreement. Your office may see page page. Mano, your office had just started reading it. Two fifty seven. Hmm. Yes. This is the service level agreement. And Manoj, at page two fifty eight, it says how the margin utilization you cannot act beyond it. Close it. I'll not six and seven. This is a letter uh, in the form of to Idelweiss, two fifty eight, by them to us. You will not allow us to go beyond hundred percent margin utilization under any circumstances. Sorry. Uh, clause six. Sir. Read five also. I read two five seven. Yeah, I read. The client should be covered under plus or minus ten percent under all circumstances with margin utilization will not exceed more than eighty percent of margin and post breaching of ninety percent one will not be allowed to take fresh positions as the balance ten percent will be kept for MTM. I'm told is mark to market. Mark MTM is marked to market, market purpose for stress uh, scenarios. One can be allowed to take position post breaching of the ninety percent under following conditions. We deposit so our deposit covers any loss within plus or min minus twenty percent OG move in the underlying. Any fresh position is taken after mutual consultation, trade discussion of our risk team for approval. Seven. You will not allow us to go beyond hundred percent margin utilization under any circumstances. In rare circumstances, due to market movements, otherwise free margining in Vishaka will be considered for shortfall in Pratham. However, this is an exception, etc. Then eight. 
margin deposit will always be on a span plus exposure and should be maintained at all times. This is what must be right. Trying to what do. does this mean? A span plus exposure. No, your objects recollect once your objects put to me the uh, aspect of the span uh, which comes six times. That stand span now is standardized portfolio analysis of risk. Span report is a standardized for S portfolio P and AN is analysis of risk. This determines standard portfolio. Standard, standardized I'll give, uh, so standardized, is standard, uh, standardized is portfolio. portfolio analysis of risk. So this is a span report which is generated by the system, which determines the margin requirement. It is done by the clearing corporation. But Manos, that is done, as your chips have noticed, six times a day. But the exposure will vary because in between those, between one and two or two and three, in between the times of the reports, the exposure of the client would vary. So our contract says that span plus exposure is what you are supposed to cover. At obviously, eight. sorry. Obviously, span uh, plus exposure. Otherwise, so so this is breach. That is correct. I'll not argue further. So this is something we are relying on. Then Manoj, uh, nine is we will maintain cash in terms of liquid funds, etc. So that is not the service level agreement. Then Manoj, yes. So this Manoj uh, is our uh, case. The appellate award. If your chips just have a look at the position which your chips saw yesterday, your chips may have. The position that table is not paid. Position is in the award at page 57. My Lord Justice, I also indicated that the settlement, this may, Manoj, what we have taken instructions after the query on the operative part yesterday, Manoj. If your Lordship is at page 57, which is part of the first award. In the paper, it is in the paper. Paper book, no? it is in paper. Doctor says that page fifty-seven. That this is what marks. Uh, it goes over three, four columns on fifty-eight. So this is one of the. What we call Manoj as what we are told is the position of the client. So as at the end of the trading, your watches will find 4.07. I mean, at the end of day of 12320, paragraph 4.07. The applicant had the following open sell positions. As I indicated, Manoj, the sell positions are the one which results in unlimited liability. We would not have been worried if there was a buy position of put options and call options with different expiry dates and strike price. So kindly just have the first Manoj, the uh, position as on 12.320, I'm reading the first call. Entity is Jayan Sangvi, which is the respondent number one. Client code, your watches may skip. Symbol is Nifty. So the underlying uh, index is Nifty, not a share or anything. That is Nifty. Uh, your watches will find the index, the type is uh, index option. Then this expiry date is the end of the contract. 30th April 2020, it will have to come to an end. SP strike price. So this is relevant. 11,500 is the strike price based on the Nifty index. How are these facts relevant for us? These facts are relevant to indicate, if your lot chips can just go one further ahead, this is a put option. So Manasi, just to indicate that this is a put option, at a strike price of 11,500 for 15150 units of the uh, transact or of the option. Therefore, now if the trade opens at 9,000, the loss will be this 2,500 multiplied by the units. So, this is where we are saying that this is something which is self evident that the trades went from he had bet on the market going to 11,500 because he was the seller of a put option. But the markets went down to 9,000. So this position was known and open, available with him 
and the matter proceeded on that basis what we have said is that the contention of saying that i did not receive a notice is taking advantage of the situation that the markets rose otherwise now that requirement will not uh, defeat the right of the member to liquidate the position in the absence of maraud's margin being replenished that is all i wanted to show from this one then now the appellate award there are not certain regulations i need to take your lot chips to because those regulations have been relied upon by the by the uh, court your lot chips may have a look at some are in the judgment itself so straight away that is the last one point your lot chips may have a look at the impugned judgment it is at page 1 of the first first one. Yes. Here, yeah, actually, the findings start at page eight, paragraph five. The honourable court discusses the scope of interference under thirty-four, and accepts our in principle argument that if it modifies the contract, it would fall in patent illegally. I am not citing judgments on on that position because it is accepted on paragraph five. onwards it starts relying upon various judgments and the in principle acceptance is uh, page 12 paragraph 7 applying the ratio i'm reading just the last three lines however any unilateral addition or alteration in the contract amounts to creating a new contract certainly falling within the ambit of the term patent illegal you are reading section 12. 34 order no this is the 34 hmm. page, page 12 page 12 para 7 7.32 there is no para 7 sorry ma'am in the first appeal it is in, it is in the first appeal not the paper book it is in the first appeal okay. book or first okay. appeal okay. compilation okay In the first appeal compilation, page twelve. Page yes, page eight. For, I start. You are referring to order under section thirty-four. Yes. Yes. Para. Uh, page eight. I I just pointed out page eight where the findings start at paragraph five. And then you were referring to paragraph. Then Manoj, the court says that. Internal page twelve. Yeah, exact. Paragraph seven, last mm -hmm. four lines, starting with the last word. However, any unilateral addition or alteration in the contract. amounts to creating a new contract certainly falling within this. so this was our contention which in principle the court accepts but says kindly see marks paragraph 8 adverting to the arguments based on 3.10 of the uh, national stock exchange etc it would be significant to refer to the relevant regulation 3.10 the trading members must demand from its constituents the margin deposit which the member has to provide under the trading agreement the trading member shall buy and or sell derivatives or contracts on behalf of the constituents only on receipt of margins of minimum percentage as the relevant authority may decide on the price of derivative contracts proposed to be purchased unless the constituent already has an equivalent credit with the trading member the trading member may collect higher margins from the constituents as he deems fit there is a reference of judgments there is a reference of the bombay of, high court yes ma'am and uh, that there has to be a demand of margin shortfall Which puts the constituent. I have the judgment. If you not. That is the margin is not replenished. The open position may be squared off. Yes. There, paragraph nine point one. There was nothing on record to indicate. They are saying there is no quarrel, which is what I argued before your lordships. Sorry, my lordships are on paragraph nine point two, on page sixteen. This is where we have said that the. Uh, giving of the margin uh, deficit is an in, is an obligation on the constituent or the paragraph six page sixteen judgments are there. Here also, one of the court takes into account the requirement of margins till nine point four. There is a judgment against which says without demanding. Additional amount to replenish the margin. These three judgments we have got now. Paragraph ten on page seventeen. Hmm. 
the court manual says the honorable court has interpreted the service level agreement and the regulations in paragraph 11 page 18 I have already argued once that our case was that there was no question of demand where the parties were proceeding a step after that to rectify the deficit and square off the position. Nobody was any doubt as to the deficit. That is what I have already argued. Paragraph 11. This is where I had said once that the court has said that your service level agreement is uh, not correct. Page 18, just below the middle, it is well known canon of construction when the court is called upon to interpret provisions of a social welfare legislation. The paramount duty of the court is to adopt an interpretation. So this one of these. In the previous paragraph, he says, and referring to the order, judgment of the Supreme Court, it says that all these regulations are framed to protect the interest of the investor. Investors, that's a distinction. In the security this market. So this is not an investor at all. He's a no, trader. But, but this is how they have to be interpreted. Not trader. It, this one, this okay, on the, but, but we have said that's a fundamental maybe, error. But that does not, even regulations do not permit you to do this. Your lawyers will see that. Correct. We have already, seen that. Already okay. By, anything, by anything else? No, distinction which I had drawn was, Manoj, that uh, only That this. we have noted. And Manoj, the position also, a lot have noted that we have he, noted. he has bet against the market dropping by selling the uh, option, noted. put option. Noted. And therefore, so now this principle is uh, just now, if you have just been here. That's, that's it. Now, I would respectfully ask that here, the entire turnaround because of the fortuitous circumstance and then the reliance on, I did not have notice uh, that your lordships may not consider in light of reading the service level agreement and all regulations together, which puts an obligation to continuously maintain margin money. Parties not under any ambiguity that there is a margin deficit and working with a view to close out the position, which is our authority. To close out, we have an implied authority once there is a margin deficit and therefore once it has modified the contract and uh, therefore it falls within the patent illegality. The lawyers may kindly reverse the award and the judgment. Yes, Yes. And the application Manoj is that this is not securities or shares, these are derivatives, which is essentially Manoj a form of simply taking <laughs> betting. Which has no underlying security at all. Some of the principles of benevolent legislation, etc. This must be in that context read that safety of the system is first. The interpretation must be in a manner that the systems must remain safe and therefore uh, unwarranted or high exposures without margin would destabilize the system. The 34 court has completely adopted an incorrect approach. This is where not something is permitted in the form of betting on going high or low. Uh, and the concept of damages I already addressed to your lordship now that whether you would say damages are whatever loss you suffered by your position or should the court have taken into account what would have been the damages at 1021 when I purchased the futures. This the appellate court completely ignores that it is contrary to section 73. Uh, the section 34 court has completely ignored. I am obliged. Thank you. Thanks. I will show to this honorable court <clears throat> findings of fact against which uh, there is nothing to militate against those findings. Even if you adopt a 
slightly wider uh, jurisdiction, namely that this might be a second appeal. Even then, the findings of fact, I'll point out, I'll try to point out from the arbitral award, has confirmed that those findings of fact are not shaken by any of the submissions of the appellant. Towards this, I refer your lordships to the first, to the order uh, as it were in original, the main, the first order of the arbitration. Please turn with me. Here, I might request your lordship to, there are two matters. And if my lords take the paper book where the respondent is Pratham, second. the second matter. Uh, the, the paragraph numbers of both, I have sat with my learned friend, Mr. Tapo. The paragraph numbers are identical. Your lordships will be able to refer to the paragraphs interchangeably. The wordings are also identical. But as because uh, an accident of fate, the numbering of your lordship's paper book is slightly different. Now, one of the first myth that has to be explored is that there was a shortfall which we did not uh, make up and therefore they sold the, the our options unilaterally and without consent. What we will show to the, what we will try and show to the Honorable Court is, and what was found by the arbitrator, that they kept telling us to hedge our bets. They kept telling us to hedge our bets and liquidate our options. They never said that when the matter, when the stock market reopens, you will be found short. Therefore, with your Lordship's permission, I'll refer my Lords to the transcripts of the conversations between parties. Edelweiss, by law, the appellants are duty bound to maintain telephone conversations, recordings, which make extremely interesting leading. If your Lordships are kind enough to turn with me to the conversations and the paragraph leading up to that. Please see page 114 of this paper book. So, but the, the shortfall which I was supposed by law to pay off is already recorded in the finding at paragraph 8.07. A shortfall margin as per the margin statement of respondent. This page 104 is what document? 114 is the, or, the first arbitration. Okay. Arbitrator award. Yes, sir. It's a two-tier arbitration. Three mm -hmm. arbitrators in the first instance and second right. a little later. A shortfall margin as per the margin statement of the respondent. For the end of the day, 12-3 of rupees 108 crore, the applicant paid by check of 68 lakhs and 40 lakhs on 13.3. The credit of the said amount was reflected in the ledger statement of 12.3. Accordingly, applicant has fulfilled margin requirement up to the end of 12.3. Now, minutes, paragraph missing one paragraph on uh, 809. The respondent states on paragraph 5.12 of the statement that on 9.57, a call was made by the applicant, sorry, a call was made to the applicant on his registered mobile number and explained the situation to the applicant's representative and in fact provided the options available to the applicant to comply with the margin requirements. But by observing transcript of call of 957, it is found that the total conversion, it should be conversation, conversion of talks are between different representatives of the respondent only. In fact, the representative of the applicant picked up phone but has not conversed with the respondent as alleged by the respondent. The whole scenario of the dis was the discussion among the respondent's representative only. Then following is the transcript. Now, but in this, except for Hitendra, everybody is an internal member of the appellant. And as your lordships will find, I don't... I have color coded it in this fashion that the, the words spoken by the by us were very few. They were talking in between. And the conclusion of this uh, conversation, your lordship finds at page 116 bottom. So this, according to us, is the first finding of fact which has not been disturbed by anybody. 
it is clearly observed from the above transcript that it shows call made to registered mobile number that is so and so. The applicant's representative Hitendra picked up the phone, gave his introduction that is name. The respondent's representative Deepan told directly to him, Ha Hitendra ji, ek, uh, ek minute, ha. Aapko future se turant hedge karna padega. Aap open nahi res paige. Immediately future se hedge karna padega. Aapko. Hitendra immediately asked, Yane future shot karu? Ese kareo? Again, Deepan told him, Ha, ek minute, ha, line per ho, ek minute. Then Concord was connected to Snehal Sony, their person. And Hitendra said, Hello. Again, Deependra said, Ek second, ha, and talk to Snehal Sony. Then Hitendra was not in the conversation of this call and never gave any consent to on his on this call for future for future short or liquidation. Therefore, the arbitral tribunal is being pressurized by respondent by the respondent to accept the submission made by the respondent via para 5.12. This is totally wrong. On this particular point, the applicant alleged that the voice recordings were tempered with by the respondent, which appears to be correct. About transcript also proves that respondent had not initiated about alleged margin shortfall till 9.57 via phone call or via email and set their minds firmly to sell the nifty futures. Even at this stage, the representative of the respondent did not know as to how much margin shortfall is attracted to the open position of the applicant. Very interesting point is that during the same call, Dipan admitted, ha, uh, ha, so, Sony ji lagta hai, wo disconnect ho gai. Sony ji, unko bechna hi padega. Santosh bhi bol raha hai, ki apne ko kuch farak nahi padta, becho karke. Wo nahi bechenge, to apan bechenge. In the conversation with Snehal, it is found that the same recording that Snehal replied to Deepan that we can't waste a unilateral action nahi le sakti. Wo dikkhat dega, baad mein nahi to, usko mail dal do, ki ye aapki position hai, aur aap market to market se out ho. Hum basically hedge kar rahe hain, 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 haan. Hum khulte hi hedge karenge. Abha conversation shows that respondent had pre-decided to sell the nifty future. Now let us examine the next call transcript of 101. But at 101, uh, Deepan is again there. Rajan is our man. And perhaps uh, I read the, the conclusion of the tribunal, the analysis. It is observed from the, uh, am I with your lordship said, page 119, bottom. But their insistence, Deepan's insistence was that as soon as the markets open, you start hedging or you liquidate these positions. To which our reply was, Ke are but opening ma barabar se. Same put buy karavanu vadhare preferable che. Future karta put. Ha, itle opening ma sachi vach che. When we open. Then the observations of the tribunal, the 119 bottom. It is observed with the above call recordings. The representative of the applicant, Mr. Rajan, had clearly denied for selling futures and representative of the respondent, Deepan, clearly telling forcefully that you have to sell Nifty future in the reopening, otherwise risk management will sell. But just pause here for a moment. But I'm, I'm saying this on instructions. Risk management sell is a sell within Edelweiss itself. They sit remotely from these traders and they assess the risk in a condition. On a, on, on a concurrent basis. Those are my instructions. So risk management, they're saying that risk management, risk sell will take its own decision, which is what the tribunal finds actually happened. While these people were talking to us, risk liquidated those positions. We'll see, Marat. Please, uh, this time also, there is neither intimation of alleged margin shortfall, nor demands of margin shortfall to the applicant. So third, but what is being submitted at your lordship is virus. That there was shortfall, there was shortfall. This is the third finding that at that stage there was no margin short. Then a smaller um, conversation. Now let's examine. Now let us examine the next call recording transcripted 1007. 
At 10.07 again, again, Rajan Bhai and Deepen are talking and its analysis is at the... Yeah, just... Yes, yes. 121 bottom. It is observed from the above transcript that Rajan, applicant, was continuously talking for the square off of open position to put call option both while Deepen was talking about Nifty sell future. Here also there is no consent at all from applicant to for sale of Nifty futures. One very interesting point which has been observed that Rajan applicant asked Deepan, but future came in the way so tame margin magar. And Deepan said, a margin limit lay ne kar se. Now let us examine the next call. Another shorter call and at uh, the analysis at page 122, it is observed from the above transcript that Deepan respondent told Rajan applicant, Pratham ma bhi apde vecha, uh, Pratham ma bhi apde vechvi par se, ek lakh tinti future. So both the conversation is uh, composite for Pratham and uh, Sangri. Immediately Rajan applicant told respondent, Are bhai, hamna vechwa ni kai jarur na thi, same ame margin, amara margin thi issue, issue chhe ne, margin joye chhe, ek vaga sudhi, if uh, to just translate the Gujarati, he said that there is no need to take any precipitated action. We'll see what happens till one o'clock. Then the next one, another short one, uh, analysis at page 123, is observed that Rajan is telling Deepan that Jayan Bhai wants to talk with risk and also tell him who will bear the loss. But just uh, before that, Deep, uh, in that conversation, Deepan says, Jayan bhai ke chhe, mare risk sathe vaat karvi chhe. Then Deepan says, Santosh bhai na mobile par phone karama. Risk to humna action lies less. Hai. Then another conversation, Santosh, Rajan, Santosh. But here, then, Jayan Sangvi, who is the main person, comes on board. And I would beg your Lordship's attention to what Jayan Sangvi says. Uh, in this, I will refer to the conversation itself. It starts with Hello, Rajan, Santosh, Rajan, Santosh, then Jayan Sangvi. And I, ha, don't take any action on your own. The Lordship has it. Then Santosh says, we have to, sir, position is very large. Sir, approximately 2 lakh nifty put short. We cannot wait like that, okay? What I am suggesting is, risk will sell that much of delta nifty. What will we uh, what we'll do is, once market starts selling, we'll keep on reducing your puts and nifty. Though itna, uh, to jitna mera nifty put kam hota hai, hota jayega, utna mein aapka nifty kam karta rahunga. He says, hmm, then uh, uh, please allow karo. Nahito mere liye mushkil hai. So there is no implied permission granted by Jayan. Jayan, Jayan says, Sangvi says, the point is, now supposing I hold my position and give you the margin. Santosh says, ab uska time nahi hai. Because they were expecting the market to go down. Jayan Sangvi is the only person who knew, or who, who bet that the market will go up. Then uh, Jayan Sangvi says, U -u Uska time kyo nahi hai? What is the problem? And then Jayan Sangvi gets cut off. But on the next page, not a very important thing he says. Sir, agar market yahan aur 10% girega, I will be naked. Right now, my account is at 4%. Jayan says, okay, hello. And then Jayan Sangvi says, yeah. Then Santosh says, Tum agar yaha, uh, 10 gaya, to I'll be naked by 6 and 6% 6 of the position is youth, sir. Jayan says, Are, but what I'm telling you is that I will make up. It is not huge for me. The issue is that if you take action right now, then my losses get booked immediately. Then Jayan, Jayan Sangvi says that, uh, Are, loss kitna loge? Suppose if Dipti recovers 1000 points tomorrow, then, which is exactly what happened. Now, 
to call it a fortuitous circumstance is to deny the very nature of this kind of trading. Everything is fortuitous circumstance. Then Mr. Uh, Jain Sangvai says very unequivocally, the point is at 12 o'clock we will decide. Jain Sangvi says, then Santosh says, no sir, it is not in my hand. Risk will not listen down. The persons who liquidated my positions are not in conversation with me. So Jain says, I'll talk to Risk. Jain says, then please ask Risk head to talk to me. Santosh says, not possible, sir. Let me check what has happened. Kya hai position abhi? Otherwise, I'll have to be different. Jain Sangvi. So, sir, aap aaj make me good. Aaj utna paisa aaj ke aaj transfer kar. I, what is there is there. Let us see the what the conclusion of this is. But it is it has been the the it has been the effort of the appellate to read things in isolation and say these things mean what we say it means. What the arbitrators have understood it to mean is more relevant. The arbitral tribunal has observed a very important and interesting fact from the above transcript. In the above transcript, first Jain Sangvi warned to Santosh, don't take any action on your own. Then, above conversation took place both for 2 minutes and 41 seconds. I mean, this is very, I think this is the heart of the matter in my respect to Santosh. 2 minutes and 41 seconds means the call start from 10.41 as per the transcript 10.41. 10, 10, 2 minutes 41 seconds means the call start from 10.21 as per the transcript mentioned, and ends at 10.23. The duration of the call has been taken from call recording CD submitted by the respondent. Here the applicant is discussing for not taking any future position within the respondent, and from other side, the respondent creates nifty future cell position at 10.21 before even the conversation has ended with me. Where is, my, where is their request to me and my not acceding to or impliedly acceding to. Before the end of the conversation, they have taken the harmful positions. So it is clearly proved that one representative of the respondent is on call for discussion on issue of the margin with the applicant for the nifty cell position. And one representative has already created the nifty cell position before the end of call discussion. In fact, the transcript shows that the applicant has not given consent for nifty cell future at any point of time. Not only that, the applicant did not agree with the alleged argument of margin shortfall in his account due to the call, but the applicant also confirms in the call that if margin fell short, I will make it up. It's not huge for me. The arbitral tribunal have examined all the transcripts. Uh, no conversation states that the applicant has agreed to sell nifty futures. In entire communication, there is no consent for sell of nifty futures from the applicant. On the other hand, it was observed that the representative of respondent is repeatedly forcing the applicant to sell off nifty futures in spite of continuous denial by the applicant. It is also observed from the transcripts that the representative of the respondent admits that selling of nifty futures will definitely be done by risk management department on reopening of the market. Till this time, there is no evidence found that the respondent has intimated for alleged margin shortfall and have demanded the same from the applicant. So it is a wrong allegation of the respondent that they are intimated the applicant for any margin, for any amount of margin shortfall. And the applicant had agreed for the alleged hedge position. These were called proceedings of 1021 also. It also transpired from the submitted call recordings transcript of post-trade position. The applicant has not agreed for press position creation by the respondent and has also informed the respondent that he will initiate legal action if it is if it is a unilateral decision and the action of the respondent. From para 809 to 817, it is proved that the respondent has not made any communication about the alleged margin shortfall till the opening of market at 1021 as a predecided theory the respondent has created new position of nifty future sell without consent of the applicant, assuming 
that what if the market will further fall by 10? Hence, it is a wrong submission of five point in para 5.8 of the statement of defense. But this is important. They have changed the defense. Page 127. But this was not a defense on 13.3 by the respondent side. Nobody from the respondent had raised a concern about Jain Sangvi as an authorized person, which is proved from the voice recording transcript. It is also on record that the respondent never communicated to Jain Sangvi as, as, as an authorized person. The alleged margin shortfall of the clients mapped under the head of Jain Sangvi. What is not a responsibility of the respondent? Was it not a responsibility of the respondent to communicate to the authorized person for alleged shortfall? It is also on record that during the hearing of respondents, during the hearing, the respondent's representative so and so admitted that they were aware that Jain Sangvi is an authorized person, that it was the responsibility of the respondent to communicate the applicant the margin shortfall. But apparently, this has not been done. For a moment, we, if you assume that Jain Sangvi as an AP, the monitor in real uh, monitor the real time margin from given terminal, then also arbitral tribunal can see that there is no volatility data or derivation data in that terminal, which is annexed as a screenshot of the rejoinder. The respondent made a base computation shortfall at exhibit B, C, and D, which shows the implied volatility data and derivations. The tribunal is of the opinion that Mr. Jain Sangvi is, uh, was an AP. That is an admitted fact. But he was allotted to watch the terminal, uh, uh, the terminal to watch the real-time margin, and he was logged in on that day, etc. Would not be an argument for the defence. Hence, it was just an afterthought. It is observed from para 5.07 that an apparent mistake of calculation, but these figures were bandied about at the beginning of the submission by the appellant, the 325 crores. Observed from para 5.07 that an apparent mistake in the calculation of total open position, which is stated in Exhibit C, the notional exposure was about 325 crores. It is seen so the same is a total of call options and put options both. Respondent has admitted that there is an available margin of 10.4 crores. Not, he, not correct. He says, so they, they say that the figure of 325 is the wrong figure. Here the question is, when call position is absolutely in safe zone, respondents are not intending to swear off call options. They were only intending to swear, uh, square off put options. The respondent was not including uh, intending to sell off call options as it was totally safe. In spite of that, the respondent calculates the total notional exposure of call and put options and is trying to show excess as exposure which is actually not there. Here also the respondent is admitting that available margin of 10.04 crores. On one side, respondent is vehemently arguing for shortfall and here on his own admission shows available margin of 10 crores. The arbitral tribunal has observed a very interesting point in Exhibit C. The time is shown as 9.07, which is pre-opening. Exhibit D shows 9.21, which is the time when market halted. By comparing both exhibits, it is seen that the notional exposure at 9.07 and 9.21 is the same 3.25 crores. And option prices, which are shown in next column of notional exposures, are different. So how is it possible? To have different option values at different time, the notional exposure value remains the same. Hence, the tribunal is of the opinion that the calculation made in exhibit C and D are post-trade calculations which are not correct. But with this, please go to paragraph 8.24. Page 129. It is observed that from paragraph 5.23, the dispute is not for liquidation of open position. Let's for a moment assume that liquidation was as per term in compliance of mandatory or voluntary procedure, whatever. But by any rules, regulation, bylaws of SEBI, as well as NAC, does not permit the trading member from creating fresh position saying, hedge, to cover any such loss or shortage of margin, if any, without consent, and in spite of continuous denial of the constituents. I'm not, I uh, press this to your lordship because this is a reading of an expert body of rules peculiar to the business. Sorry. 
मिनट पैराग्राफ पेज वन थर्टी टू मिनट वॉट फेल फ्रॉम योर लॉर्डशिप क्वाइट अर्ली ऑन इन द हियरिंग नाइन पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स हेजिंग इज अ रिस्क मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रेटेजी employed to offset losses in investment by taking opposite position hedging is imperfect and is not a guarantee it is not a guarantee for future success not as it ensure that losses will be mitigated in this matter the respondent created a fresh position of nifty nifty future sell assuming it as a hedge it was not a hedge position according to the rules regulations and bylaws as well as nsc the trading member is not permitted to create a fresh position saying hedge to recover the margin shortfall or to reduce the loss even without deriving the quantum of loss or margin shortfall and without the consent of the constituent applicants and this is how the order was passed in two matters two different awards now in in technical arbitrations of this type but i would recommend uh, uh, commend to your lordship's attention 2024 bracket 2 scc page 613 please brother hindustan construction versus national highways sir will be yes we have got the copy Number one, the the favorite flogging horse nowadays is the patent legal illegality issue, and in the context of patent illegality and the scope of uh, the honourable court's interference, number one, we will point out certain facts to your lordship. But the first fact I want to point out in this judgment is what was the nature of the arbitrators. Please turn with me to paragraph three at page six one nine. National Highways awarded to the contractor six one nine to the contractor the work of construction of the Allahabad bypass project in UP by agreement dated two thousand four. The project was completed. However, certain disputes arose inter se the parties with reference to different areas of the contract. These were referred to arbitration. NHAI has an inbuilt resolution mechanism that is. dispute resolution board consisting of technical experts in the field to which matters are first referred since the contractor was not satisfied with the opinion of the drb in terms of the agreement it could and did invoke arbitration the disputes in the present case culminated in a reference to the arbitrator of three technical persons who after considering the rival viewpoints and materials before them made the award But these were technical persons, as are in our case. Now, not this judgment I wish to rely upon only to show to your lordship. Please turn with me to page six twenty seven. It is quite evident that in sorry six two seven paragraph twenty four. quite evident that in most cases the views of drps and tribunals in two cases majority award tribunals favored the agreement favored the arguments of the contractors 
that composite embankment was uh, the sorry composite embankment construction took place as a result of which measurement was to be done in a composite or unified way. Dissenting on minority views whenever expressed were premised on separate measurements. This is the opinion of technical experts, constituted arbitrators who are versed in contractual interpretation of the type of work involved and their first-hand experience as engineers who have supervised such contract. When the predominant view of these experts is pointed in one direction in a composite measurement, the question is, what is really the role of the court under Section 34? Uh, then paragraph 26, the prevailing view about standard of scrutiny. Then for emphasis, the judge says into, uh, in italics, not judicial review of an award by persons of the disputant's choice being that of their decision to stand and not interfered with, save a small area where the establishment of such a view is premised on a patent illegality or their interpretation of facts or terms perverse as to qualify for interference. Courts have to necessarily choose the path of least interference except when absolutely necessary. By training, inclination and experience, judges tend to adopt a corrective lens, usually commended for appell appellate review. However, that lens is unavailable when exercising jurisdiction under 34 of the Act. Courts cannot, through process of primary contract interpretation, thus create pathways to kind of review which is forbidden under Section 34. So viewed, the division bench's approach of appellate review twice removed, so to say, under 37. Because arbitrator 34 and the division bench was twice removed. In this case also, in that sense, your lordships are thrice removed from the principal arbitrator, appellate arbitrator and 34. Twice removed as it were, so to say, under 37. And conclusions drawn by it result in displacing the majority view of the tribunal and in many cases the unanimous view of the tribunals and substitution of another view as long as the view adopted by the majority was plausible and this court finds no reason to hold otherwise because considerably the work was done and completed and finished embankment uh, was made composite compacted matter and comprising so and so such a substitution is impermissible then the Bench goes on to quote other judgments, but I commend this most ardently to your lordships that the the, the, the arbitrator, <coughs> the learned arbitrators, were creatures of that field. They were mandated by the contract between SEBI and us. It is SEBI mechanism. They are supposed to be experts, and they have taken not only what is a plausible view in my respectful submission, the only view which is possible in these matters. The appellants have not been able to point out to, your, to, the, to the Honorable Court any patent illegality in that sense. But at best, they pitch their cases, though, this should have been done or that should have been done. It's tried to say that even a wrong application of a wrong law is not susceptible to interference by your lordships, unless it goes elevated to the extent of interfering with the public policy of India. But therefore, I would commend uh, to your lordships that the appeal be dismissed. Just 10 minutes. Of course, just if you're watching, I just give me 10 minutes. First one of the, my friend at the first ago. That doesn't come into play at all. The appellate award is the one which governs. In a two-stage arbitration, the 34 is against the appellate. So the reference to the first award is not significant at all. Yes, but the the, the submission is that the basic step 
But Ma, that award doesn't the law correct that is on the. But Ma, I am only saying that the award, if it is there, the two-tier procedure is there, then what goes under Section thirty-four is the appellate award. The first award will merge. There is no non-existence of that award. It is non-existent. That's. Panel award according to you. Yes. So this has become one now. Yeah, the Bombay right. High Court takes the view so, that it is non-existent. The first award which is no, non -existent. It cannot be. That is it how the cannot be. Otherwise, the trial uh, trial court order will ex mm -hmm. eclipsed. No, 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 not that. That is, is exactly what the principle it which not, doesn't it cannot happen. be independently yes. exist. But it is merged into the so what sort has, of the, whatever are the find, findings of our arbitral tribunal, they exist. But that seems no, to be that no, the award doesn't. No, no, this, that cannot be because that, that's they, what the Bombay High findings says. are not wiped out. All right. They are is, they are merged, so they are taken further. And when both are taking the same view, then it becomes so one. There is so much this deficit, etc. The appellate award doesn't accept that position at all. That is not in the appellate award. Your lordships will not find a reference. It may not be an appellate award, right. but appellate award affirm the I've... arbitral tribunal award in total. Yes, but no, it, no it, reverses. it reverses it. Page 47, your lordships. It reverses. It reverses partly three points. Page 47, okay. your lordships. This point also. No, no. Page 47. So other points we are not concerned. No, but that is relevant because now what my friend has relied upon about this hedging, etc. And whether there was. We are not looking to that. That was page 47, yeah. you're not looking to like hedging, whether it was actually hedging or not, whether it was margin money uh, was less than 10, uh, one crore, yeah. 10 crore or not. That is not. We yeah. are not going into. Then only case. three findings. You're not just going to see page 47. On yeah. which areas appellate tribunal refer? Deferred? On page Page 47. What, the, what, what were those areas? The three areas, one of which uh, the tribunal says is. That the tenor of the phone call converse on page 47 and 48. The table is at 47. At 48, while denying that there is no, while accepting there is no quantified demand, they accept that while the tenor of the phone conversations suggest a margin shortfall. Oh, that was suggestion. And was even that. But the other, other side, other side was always saying, don't worry, I'll make it up. No, I am on. If your logic will find in the conversation and demand that now it is 4%, you paid today. Huh, so he said, I will pay you. So there is a, he said, don't worry, don't do this. No, I, I'm don't a, sell it off. You said you were insisting that I, 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 padega, I, I, padega. he said, don't do this. Yeah, I'll, I, I can it. manage. I can manage. Correct. Then must he also it. said that I can manage. Then I will pay it off. Don't worry. And this is how a person who was playing in the market, he behaves. Yes, then must pay. And he was the authorized person who said this to you. And yes, and page 50 also. It's must... not that that someone else did. No, no, we were in conversation with them. Page 50, clause I also says margin shortfall, it is indicated in the conversation due to volatility. That is not an issue. But the er error which I said was that they have accepted T plus one, which is actually settlement. Bombay High Court. Well, yes. That is also All not an right. issue. Then third point on page 51 is Manas that. Uh, illiquidity is accepted. That is also not no, that, the first award. That says was that only the, mo momentary situation. No, illiquidity was there. For and the, the crux is whether whatever you say, it is accepted. There was no issue about that what you you perceived. Right. Whatever you say, even if it is accepted, you could not have done what you have actually done. That that's has, all. That I have pointed that out. Is that is the only issue. We had a unilateral right yeah, to that is out the position. only issue. There is no other issue. That I have already argued. Uh, but like it, whatever whatever the position is, nobody is disputing. Even the even the conversations are not disputing that this was not the position. But you could not have done this. That is the only issue. Yes. That is the only issue. Yeah, the squaring is difficult. So that finding is th that finding is there in the appellate court's order, which I just pointed out, page fifty-one, that the position was illiquid. 
and you could not have squared off that security. So we are saying that impliedly, I had to hedge. That is the only way I could have acted. Page 51. That, that we have taken. That, yeah, that, that I have volatility, volatility of the market, illiquidity, it is all, all not disputed. The minute mass illiquidity is accepted, there becomes an implied authority to no, no, close that, the that situation was not there. That is my call. That is what your lordships are seeing. That is my call. That margin deficit is there. I have therefore an. No, no, there was no margin deficit. That is accepted. Right. That was only a momentary it. position. Margin deficit is a position which which has to be assessed. It's not with the moment there is a margin deficit. You have to with all the people who are playing in the market. They know, and he was saying that. It may go up. I will make it up. So we don't said, worry. Don't do anything. So then there was no assessment of illiquidity or deficit in margin money at that point of time when you accept. went for sale of futures. Illiquidity. Uh, assessment was not there. That was your perception. But there is a difference between perception. And assessment. This is not entirely done by the risk management team, which assesses on. So assessment, assessment is one thing. Perception is different. In, in fact, so you proceeded on perception, not on assessment. Ma, we have the 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 assessment results into what quantity of futures have to be sold. No, that not is, only this. Assessment is about the actual position as to whether there there is a shortfall or not. And then there is whether there is a requirement to go for sale or uh, no, that I have already exact shortfall. That and then going for this, what you say is I've already, those terms. I've already raised those content. Miss those terms. Closing off. Closing off. Uh -huh. Hedging and closing off. Closing off the provisions. Mm -hmm. Closing squaring off or closing. Squaring off, closing off. So that new was, terms to be huh, yes. Not your reason. It was interesting to see you on the graphical observe that still it will not absolve you from the responsibility no, of calculating, calculating conveying and raising a deal. That is where I said it is contrary to our agreement. It is his obligation to maintain that is exactly our point. No doubt. That you are adding this quantification that I have addressed. It. That you are adding a clause <laughs> by saying I have to give a notice and quantify. That is not possible and not contemplated under our contract. Not so dismiss as well. But it was interesting to hear for us. <laughs> it was very interesting for us also. These are new terms and a new. I dare say, brother, Mr. Toshi will join me one week later. We will not be able will to address your question. <laughs> very interesting, one. no doubt. Very interesting. deeply obliged for the very time. Ah, oh, that uh, entire uh, momentum goes with oh. this. Uh, and we would also have forgotten everything. Ah, this is so also, technical yeah. and very. It seems for us, at least on this side, must to be extremely. It has those terminology also. Which, right, right. Like delta. Keeping back with the ter terminology and then keeping yeah. it in mind also. Yeah. Unless so, one is actually trading in the stock exchange. <laughs> <laughs> so we were only proceeding by common sense or nothing else. <laughs> Applying our com common sense in the position. Must, the only thing is, since Archiv already pronounced dismissal, there is an interim order which is operative till today. Must permit us some extension to approach the. the interim is this. Third, I, I say nothing about whether what your Archiv. In the pendency of the first appeal, the amount under the SEBI guidelines has been paid to us. Before they could hear the, before they could get op, obtain orders in the civil application, because the money was already with SEBI, then it was paid to us. They successfully persuaded the Honorable Court that we should be allowed to hold it subject to us uh, giving, bank giving bank guarantee of this, which bank guarantee is continuing till today. So, I'm requesting, so, I am requesting now that there is a fourth hearing that the bank guarantee may be discharged. Further request of <coughs> Learn Senior Counsel appearing for the appellant to continue with the interim directions. Passed in this appeal is hereby rejected. Oblige. As well.
ये ऐसा है वो ना छोटा सा है अनदर पार्ट एंड मैटर इस सिर्फ हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी टू इन डेली बोर्ड संदीप मिस्टर संदीप मुजासरा मिस्टर हेमांग शाह Where is the counsel for the petition? Please call them. Let me call them. ठीक है ठीक है दस मिनट वेट फॉर टेन मिनट्स माइक भी करें सेंटर आप कॉल्डर में सब मंजर से गए बट इस नॉट आंसरिंग सो आप लेफ्ट अ मैसेज ही रहे एट प्लीज कम एएसएपी टू हमारे करेंट मिस्टर मेथर्स प्रेस कैन वी टेक इन द शायर आपसे प्रश्न किया वेरी सॉरी Yes, sir. I'll wait. Yes, sir. I'll wait. Oh, yes. Perimeterally fixed matters. Number sixty. Learned government leader, uh, Mr. K K Trivedi, Mr. R S Sanjanwala, Learned Senior.
Take zero. One thirty two. Yes. As far as appeal matters, yes, I have gone through the papers of the Honorable Court. If it can be kept on Monday, because they are exhibited documents which we have relied in the appeal memo, are also not part of the record. Okay. Only the judgment is there, my lords. Uh, yes, it, it can be kept tomorrow, my lords. I'll collect those exhibited because Friday, tomorrow. The only difficult. I am conscious. The only difficult. Yes, because it is for the purpose of it. This is applicable to repeat the judgment. That's all. Every exhibit is not to be seen in an applicable appeal. First, we need the judgment to get something, then we will submit it. Serial number 20, let me publish. No, well, the difficulty is that I don't have the paper, but I went through the Honorable Court's paper, but there are also the exhibited documents, none of the documents. Because that is what I'm trying to indicate that the Honorable Court. Yes, but those those would be the only submissions. If it can be kept, I'm conscious what is falling, Malas. No, because I I'm short of my papers. Therefore, it can be kept tomorrow. I'll ensure that tomorrow, Malas. My apologies, but please, Malas. Your papers are not complete. Your office is not taking care. Generally, Malas, in all paper books are there. But today, as an Malas coincident, because this was sent to some other court, thereafter it has come back before this honorable court. It appears. Yes, because of that reason. True. For you, this is not mine. Will you read the judgment or not? We are giving you one file. You read the judgment. Please. We are not adjourning. Yes, I'll read. Please. How many respondents are there by you? Do not have any idea. This has never been executed. Yes, but it's a fresh matter of. Uh, okay, then argue. Two thumbs. Right. To address the Honorable Court of the brief facts, Malos, I may take the Honorable Court to page one of the judgment, paragraph one. 
ફરિયાદી પક્ષના કેસની ટૂંકમાં હકીકત એવી છે કે ફરિયાદી બાબુભાઈ કાનજીભાઈ ગુજરાત વિદ્યુત બોર્ડમાં હેલ્પર તરીકે ફરજ બજાવે છે તેઓ ઘર સામે આવેલ સરકારી જમીનમાં તેઓનું છાપરું બાંધે છે ને જમીન સંગે તેઓનો તેઓ બાજુમાં રહેતા મોહનભાઈ કાળીદાસ સાથે બે વર્ષથી ઝઘડો ચાલે છે અને આ જમીન ઉપર તેઓએ સિવિલ કોર્ટમાં સ્ટે મેળવેલ છે તારીખ દસ છ બે ઓગણીસો અઠ્યાસી ના નાઇન્ટીન એટી એટના રોજ સવારના ફરિયાદી તથા તેમના બાપુજી તેમના ફળિયામાં મગનભાઈ જયરામભાઈના ઘરે બેઠા હતા તે દરમિયાન દસેક વાગ્યાના સુમારે ફરિયાદીના કાકા દીકરો હરેશભાઈ ગણપતભાઈ ફરિયાદીના બોલાવવા આવેલ આવેલો ને કહેલું કે પાનીબેન સાથે મોહનભાઈ ફળીદાસ તથા મખનભાઈ કાળીદાસનો ઝઘડો છે તેમ કહેતા ફરિયાદી તથા તેમના બાપુ ફરિયાદીના ઘરે આવતા હતા તે સમયે ગલાભાઈ પોલીસ સ્ટેશનમાં ઘર પાસે ફરિયાદીના બા તથા બહેન ને મોહન પોસ્ટમેન ઇટ્સ નોટ પોલીસ સ્ટેશન ગલાભાઈ પોસ્ટમેન યસ માય એપોલોજી માય એપોલોજી મનસ તેમના બાપુ ફરિયાદીમાં ઘરે આવતા હતા તે સમયે ગલાભાઈ પોસ્ટમેન ના ઘર પાસે ફરિયાદીના બા તથા બહેનને મોહનભાઈ કાળદાસ તથા મકનભાઈ કાળીદાસ તથા ભીખાભાઈ આશાભાઈ તથા કિશોરભાઈ મૂળજીભાઈ તથા રણછોડભાઈ કાળીદાસ તથા શાંતિબેન શાંતાબેન દેવજીભાઈ માર મારતા હતા મોહનભાઈ કાળીદાસ પાસે લાકડી હતી તથા મકનભાઈ કાળીદાસે પાસે ધાર્યું હતું તથા કિશોરભાઈ મૂળજીભાઈ પાસે મૂળજીભાઈ પાસે ધાર્યું હતું તથા ભીખાભાઈ આશાભાઈ પાસે લાકડી હતી તથા રણછોડભાઈ કાળીદાસ પાસે લાકડી હતી તથા શાંતાબેન પાસે લાકડી હતી મોહનભાઈ કાળીદાસે ફરિયાદીની બા ને મોડામાં લાકડી મારતા દાંત પડી ગયેલ અને લોહી નીકળતું જેથી ફરિયાદી તથા તેમના બાપુજી છોડાવવા વચ્ચે પડતા મોહનભાઈ કાળીદાસ દોડતા તેના ઘરમાંથી ધાર્યું લઈ આવેલ અને તોય બધા ને કાપી નાખવા નાખો તેમ કહી એક સમય ફરિયાદીને મારવા હુમલો કરેલો જેમાં મોહનભાઈ તેના હાથનું ધાર્યું ફરિયાદીના માથામાં મારતા ડાબી બાજુ ચાંચ વાગેલી અને લોહી નીકળેલી તથા ફરિયાદીની બાજુને મકન કાળીદાસે તેના હાથમાંનું ધર્યું મારતા જમણી આંખની પાપડી પણ વાગતા લોહી નીકળેલ કિશોરે તેના હાથમાંનું ધાર્યું મારતા ફરિયાદીના બાપુને જમણા હાથના કાંડા ઉપર વાગતા લોહી નીકળેલ અને ભીખાભાઈ આશાભાઈએ ફરિયાદીના બાપુને કમળની જમણી બાજુ લાકડી મારેલી અને શાંતિબેનને તેના હાથમાંની લાકડી ફરિયાદીના બહેન કમળાબેને ડાબા પગના ઢીંચણ ઉપર મારેલી તે વખતે તેઓ બધા ફરિયાદીને ગમે તેમ ગાળો બોલતા હતા અને કલ્યાણભાઈ દયાભાઈ તથા જેઠીબેન ગંગારામ મનુભાઈ વીરાભાઈ તથા તેમના પત્ની દિવાળીબેન વચ્ચે પડીને વધુ માર માંથી છોડાવેલ તકરાર થયાનું કારણ ફરિયાદી then then why have you for what is the uh, reason for filing this appeal for why the um, uh, court has acquitted them please can you read this part yes i may come to that part straight away straight away yes ઇસ્કોલ્ડ 
The issues are on page. You come to the conclusion part. Yes, I'll come first to the conclusion part. That is on. It is issue wise. It has been malus discussed. If the page one one six, it has been discussed issue wise. The issues are on page sixty one. Yes, yes, please. Yes. 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 Hmm. Now come to internal page one zero three of the judgment. Please read paragraph eleven slash fifteen. Please. If one Nirvivad Hakika check. चार्जशीट में दर्शावेल सहायतों पैकी एक हरेश गणपत बे गंगाराम महिजी भाई रण जेठी बहन एक गंगाराम ना औरत चार दीवाबड़ी बहन मनु भाई वीरा भाई नी पत्नी आ कामे फरियादे पक्षे सहायत तरीके सौगंध ऊपर तपासेल नथी अने चार बार रानू ना रोज फरियादे पक्षे आंक इक्षर थी पुरसीस रजू करी जनावेल छे आ काम में तपास वा मांगता नहीं। जरा दीवारी बहन ने मनुभाई बीमार होवा थी, आवश्यक है तेम ना होवा थी, तेवपन तपास वा मांगता नहीं। जो के दीवारी बहन ने बीमारी अंगे नहीं कोई प्रमाण पत्र चार बेहत रानू थी। So all those witnesses who were mentioned yes. in the charge sheet, they were not they were examined. Not examined in. And the excuse was given that they were not well. Not well. And there was no uh, certificate of their illness. So this is one part. Yes. Now come to eleven by seventeen, page hundred fourteen. Yes, one zero five. Pariyat Pakshno case Hakikat Muja Banauna Divse, Paradi Babu Bai, Temna Pita, Kanji Bai, Manu Bai, Jairam Bai, Na Gare Beta Hata. यारे हरेश गणपते पानी बैंड साथ या आरोपियों ने झगड़ों झगड़ानी बात करी है इंसिडेंट है सकर तपास कर तपास करना अमल डालना है अमल दारे आ कामे तपास करें बात रजू करें चार्जशीट में मनु भाई जयराम भाई ने पन साहेत तरीके दर्शावेल नथी के फरियाद पक्ष ने सदर मनु भाई जयराम भाई ने पन साहेत तरीके � तो खरे खर पराधी तथा कांजी भाई महिजी भाई तेवना घरे बैठा हाथा के कैंप ते पुरवार करी शक क्या हो बचाव पक्षे एवी रजवात छे के सीसी नंबर सोएंसो वड़ा बनाव वक्ते सदर बाबू भाई कांजी भाई अने कांजी भाई महिजी भाई बनाव स्थडे हाजर हाथा अने ते बनाव अंगे दस छोट इत्यासी ना रोज केस नंबर सोएंसो आंक � कलम अठानु थी आ कामे रजू थाईल तेमा सामावड़ा तरीके बाबू भाई कांजी भाई महिजी भाई कांजी भाई तेपन बतावेल छे अने ते फरियाद मा जनावे मुझे बनावानी तारी दस छोई इत्यासी ना नी छे अने समय पन सवारनो दस कल्लाकनो बतावेल छे जो खरे खर बाबू भाई तथा कांजी भाई मगन भाई जयराम भाई ना घरे � so the initial facts that he went yes, to the house of that person where this incident had occurred, that was also not proved. Yes, and in fact, the narration of incident... And so date, then the beginning of the incident goes. 
Yes. The because the incident is that he came, they went to their house. Yes. And then called them, and he came out of the house, and then then there was some altercation, and they were carrying weapons, yes. lati and that all, and they hit yes. this person. So the fact that these accused persons went to the house yes. of this uh, is not injured. That was not true. And in fact, it further... So what, also, what remains? Yes, in fact, it what further... Are, what are the injuries? Where are the injuries? Well, the injuries... Yes. Mm -hmm. huh, yes, injury part is also important. I think that part is coming up here. 11 by 21, page 112. Doctor, Danti Lal. Kanti Lal. Yes, uh, it, it reads about the, well, the eyebrow. And I may read that. Doctor, Kanti Lal. Human by ne tapasma avelche, Teo Sartapasma Janavelche, Kanji by ne, Maiji by Tarik dust, Cho Itiasina Road, Sanjana Cho Vage, transfer slip Sate, Amdavat Civil Hospital, Sarvar Mate Lava Marvel, Ananate, Teoni Tapas Nicha Muja Bijavati. Yes, yes. There are two yes. injuries. One stitch. One stitch and in the and oh, injuries are not that. You know, well, no, no. And like it's not. It was a maramari sort of thing. But otherwise the presence of these persons there and the actual injuries caused by them is also not true. Yes. Material witnesses have not been examined. There's no mention of the teeth. No, in, in, this, part, yes, in yes. this particular it is not there. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are right. That is also not there. Any operation plan or budget So there is nothing. Dismissed. Yes. Hard dismissal. Now you can give back our five. Yes, and my apologies, and I'm grateful to the Honorable Court. <laughs> but serial number 132, your lot was kept after 10 minutes. There's one revision also connected with this. Already dismissed. Nobody appeared. Right. Serial number 132, your lot was kept after 10 minutes. That Mr. Munjasra is not present. Since he is not, not feeling well, he has left court at 3.30. Which matter? Okay. Okay. Judicial. Okay. This parted matter? Yes. Okay. All right. So may I only request for Monday? Okay. On 22nd. 4 p.m. At 4 p.m. Please. Yes. All right. Like <laughs> Say number 62, Learned Additional Advocate General, Ms. Manisha Kumar, Vitlan Ajit, J.V. Vagela, Salil Thako, Udit Mehta, Jigar Gadvi, Vitesh Ajari, yes, some Amar Mithan. Priority matter. Two thirty. Two thirty. Yes. Time. Charity. Some will have to be done a for this. Charity. Charity. Yes, sir. We've gone through. Yes. <laughs> Madam is the name. You have exchanged the chart. Yes. Now all the discrepancies are removed. We are having a correct figure. We have our version, so that our version is uh, 
uh, each one of us have prepared differently naturally because we both have. Uh, but Manot, I gave my copies. If yes. something had to be added, it could have been added and given to me. I would also have had the opportunity. I'm ready to start. I'm not taking time. But some, if somebody could have shared some or you know, collated it, you have, it you have, have, have had some prepared idea. separate charts. And each in their own different way. No, no, it is only one page. No, no, one page, right? I think, be a I think format learning. should be the same. Format is the same. 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 The VA borrowed the format of my learning. So I have, I have kept and then we have given in just the facts as well. In the number of years of dealing, that is how what we have, most of us have done it. Okay. Now, let us start. You let us at least start. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, I don't have the chart, but whatever I have on record, this I will is, this proceed. is the state appeal. Please, yes. all NPA, all, yes. all, all state all, appeal. All. and all the petitions are dismissed on the ground of delay. All have been dismissed allowed. on the ground of all the petitions, petitions are allowed, are allowed okay. on the ground of delay. So, my lord, when I commenced my arguments, my lord, I had endeavored to point out to the Honorable Court that, of course, so motor revision powers need to be exercised within a reasonable time. And there are multiple facets which need to be considered, namely whether third party rights have been created or no, whether parties have undergone expenses related to that, you know, whether, whether title has changed hands over a period of time or no, and all other relevant aspects, Milud. As also, Milo, the nature of the enactment, the nature of infraction, what is the provisions of the law? So in the meantime, the land object. must have exchanged many hands. Nature of the land has been changed. Nature of the land has been changed. Whether, suppose, hypothetically, any permission has been obtained. Right. Any of those. The tenure then, may have changed. Tenure changed. Tenure could have changed. Ownership changed. Ownership changed. Third party rights created. So, is it possible for you to put the clock back? So, my lord, my argument was that every matter would need to be examined contextually. What the learned single judge has done is merely on the ground of delay. And I will point out, my lord, that in these matters, so you can point, matters, so third party can, rights are created. So, so, you can point out a matter which you think really... Yes. requires consideration on the facts. Yes. Every matter on the facts, you may not succeed. Correct. So, Milo, therefore, so will you filter those facts? I filter those where, matters. According to you. Yes. According to on you. On the face of it, on their own edition. According to you, you do not have a good case. <laughs> Milo, uh, How would you point out all together? <laughs> no, no. My submission was slightly you can't, you can't filter there. those cases. No, Milod, my submission was that Milod, I have, I have. So those we will decide, and the cases where really we have to apply our mind Milod, on facts, we will apply. It, very well, Milod, In all these matters, because these things we are, are not, apparent. We are not relegating the matter for learned single judge. No, no, no. We will Whether be deciding it, it here only. Milod, whether it is decided by this court or the single judge, better it is decided by this honorable court. Maybe two, two matters every day or three, three matters. Like appeals come up. The honorable court may examine and then decide. So, so that is why we are saying that you filter them out. We, I filter them out. I filter them out. Milod, and I argue have, your best of the cases first. Let me begin, Milod. My ad, just okay. broadly okay. let me give my arguments, Milod. Milod, uh, so at least you all are on the same page so far as the time period for exercising the so motor power. Correct. It should be a reasonable time, right? And yes. And what would be the reasonable time according to you? Milod, according and to me. And how, how you assist the court to come to this conclusion Correct. that, no, in this case, this was reasonable time. In this case, the reasonable time would be this. Yes. So, my lord, reasonable time is always to be examined, my submission, contextually. It is in the context of facts of each case that a reasonable time would have to be examined. 
namely whether what do you mean by context of contextually the fact? first and foremost is the nature of the enactment and the infraction thereof here the enactment is the enactment is the saurashtra gharke right. which holds you know suppose like raghav natha raghav natha was where you know there was a cross empowerment of powers which was being sought to be used an authority examining no, no, let us come to saurashtra well. gharke so saurashtra gharke 54 imposes an embargo for any transaction whether by way of sale whether by way of gift or whether by way of transfer any transfer in any format sale mortgage agreement gift exchange lease etc is held to be bad in law milord perhaps that version milord has one sentence missing therefore i had given this compilation it has one line which is missing milord transfer to non agriculturist or if this be seen but one line in the printing is missing that line says shall be we have the compilation one line in in which clause is missing milord uh, so let me read milord uh, save as provided in this ordinance no sale including sale in execution of a decree of a civil court or for recovery of arrears of arrears of land revenue or for sums recoverable as arrears of land revenue gift exchange or lease of any land whether lease is by law allowed or interest therein or no mortgage or of any land or interest therein in which the possession of the mortgage property is delivered to the mortgagee shall be valid in favor of a person who is not an agriculturist or no agreement made by an instrument in writing for the sale gift exchange lease or mortgage of any land or interest therein now here there is a line missing which says shall be valid in favor of a person who is not an agriculturist the original reads thus so no agreement shall be valid in favor of a person who is not an agriculturist therefore hmm any instrument whether by way of agreement of sale or sale deed or mortgage or lease or anything which is in favor of a person who is not an agriculturist is held to be invalid hmm and there are consequences prescribed there too but more importantly it's held to be invalid now what are the consequences consequences are at 75 summary eviction Seventy, seventy-five. So there is no vesting. Ah, uh, there is no vesting prescribed. Right. Any person unauthorizedly occupying or wrongfully in possession of any land. So the, this only entitles. the authorities to make a summary eviction of that eviction person, of that person. right but there is no vesting no. correct with effect from 2015 there is but prior to 2015 these are the matters prior, matters to, prior to 2015, 2015. so at that point of at time that statute does not prescribe vesting so at that point of time the statute does not no, prescribe there was no vesting You Statute could have, you could have only evicted them. Correct. You did not evict. Uh, then what would be the consequence? Authorities did evict. 
the collector yes there are two authorities orders passed by two no, no. authorities yeah, there was no summary eviction summary eviction takes place no after so many years no 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 summary eviction takes place by the it order is not of the automatic collector. it is not automatic no, no it has not. to be a physical eviction yes correct so summary eviction means you have thrown out the people correct from their property so milord so for order... years together you did not do anything milord there is an order of the collector carried before the ssrd that order is challenged before the single judge the learned single no, judge no. when when was see collector took sumoto cognizance yes and he passed an order for summary eviction correct after many years right 9 10 15 years so for these 9 10 15 years there was no summary eviction no no correct okay then then what do you say so milord my submission is there was no summary eviction ever actually just a correction so that uh, the facts are properly placed in every case they actually passed a four feature order where we made another argument that there is no four feature provision in the section hmm. actually instead of making a no summary eviction no four feature exactly they, they made a vesting or a four feature order. that is not the consequence Sorry. my lord i will take my lords to that whether it is permissible not okay, permissible 75 75 talks of summary eviction correct my lord i will make that argument my lord when i argue the matter late a bit ahead for the present my lord the provisions are 54 and 75 my argument first and foremost is that any transaction in any format renders it invalid if it is in favor of a non agriculturist that is the first argument We will examine in the context Now, of the read seventy five A. It came in two thousand fifteen. In two thousand fifteen, there was no uh, no seventy five A at that point. At of that time. point of time, no, there was no inquiry, no sort of nothing. No, but only that the order only provision was that he may be may be summary summarily evicted. Correct. It's not even shall be. correct maybe somebody so it is the power that is an inquiry you carry out inquiry if it is found that you are in breach of 54 you may be somebody leaving there was no inquiry in even 75 only talks of summary eviction inquiry any is person on inquiry occupying inquiry or under section 75a which came in 2015 correct uh the transfer of which either by the act of the parties or by the operation of law is invalid under the provisions of this in ordinance yes. and it is held to be invalid by virtue of the provisions of 54 so 54 renders it invalid no transfer so there, there is so much power to the collector this is the so much power Seventy-five. Okay, so you took action under Section seventy-five. Correct. For years after years together. Yes. Okay. What prompted you to take action, Milord? So my submission is going to be three. Four. Generally, how much is the delay? Minimum is nine years. No, no, Milord. Hmm. you know there are delays which is 3 years i'm sorry 6 years 5 years 7 years minimum is 5 years 4 years no no there's 4 years also you know or more than 3 or more than 3 certainly maybe more than 3 yes this court took it delivered my status that that 3 is important that cut off because you know we we'll point out a decision of this court so what prompted you to take this action so my lord it's based on rts inquiry so entries are mutated and if i take my lords to individual cases there are cases where a sale agreement is entered into four years hence they go and mutate the entry once the entry is mutated thereafter my lord periodically every few years it, on an average every so there was five, delay six, there was years. delay in mutation at their instance in some cases in some no, cases no. i Then, can't make a uniform statement for all so because you may 
you could have argued that since seldies was not brought into picture they have not gone for mutation no so all there was no occasion for occasion for you to make any inquiry prior to this order no that argument is not available to me i cannot so make there was argument. a mutation also all these entries are mutated belated or otherwise they are mutated it is mutation, after mutation that mutation at least prior to initiation of the action that's right that's right initiation of action uh, under section 54. 75 54 75 summary so, eviction so first the the show cause notice is issued to inquire into whether under section 54 under section 54 okay if i take my lords to one case i would be able to demonstrate that where is the provision in 54 to initiate an inquiry no problem I, mean, I have no to provision. Issue, I have to issue a notice under 54. Okay, all to right. To take but, an action consequential under 75. But there is no provision under section 54. No, there's no provision. But to hold them invalid, that it must be examined. Is there a sale? Is there an agreement? Is it a lease? Is it a transfer? In breach, are you an agriculturist? That inquiry has need must be made. That that was not taken at the stage of mutation. At the or? stage of mutation of entries, no. Okay, all right. And therefore, my lord, periodically, uh, revenue entries, my lord, Re RTS uh, teams visit different villages from time to time. Ordinarily, between five to seven years, once these RTS entries get to be scrutinized, on noting that something is amiss, a report is called from, from the circle officer or the talati. And based on that report, Thereafter, on examining that report, if it is found that something is amiss, then a show cause notice tends to be issued. From 2010 onwards, the entire process is computerized. So all these proceedings would be prior to 2010. After 2010, we started computerization. Where under this physical verification, village-wise, now no longer is a necessity. Yes. So, my Lord, my argument is that if Section 24 of the contract had be examined, my Lord, that agreement is void. In the context of you know, the contract act, because essentially this is a sale deed, a sale, a sale con transaction entered into between one party and another. So any agreement is held to be void. If the object there is of no void, it is invalid. No, it is you know, if it is unlawful. And what is unlawful? If it is forbidden by law. So this is a transaction which is forbidden by law. It would defeat the provisions of the Act. So 23 and 24 read together would render the transaction to be void. Founded on this, my lord, a decree also cannot be sought for. Recently, my lord, this Honorable Court, in an appeal, while examining whether an adoption deed is rightfully made or otherwise, 27 years hence, has held that he cannot seek to convert his tenure from new tenure to own tenure because the foundation on the basis of which he is seeking to convert the adoption deed is not valid in law. In none of these matters, third party rights are created. And in most of the matters, Milord, I would be able to establish. And it does not talk of any, like, it says, provided the collector or so and so may grant permission for such sale. So it says that no sale, no mortgage, no agreement shall be valid. 
if it is without the permission of the collector no if it is in favor of a person who, who is, is not an agriculturalist, agriculturalist yes then it says provided that the collector may grant permission correct so here it may be ex post facto permission no but that I... permission is also for the sub there is a provisor there too no such permission shall be granted provided that no such permission shall be granted where land is sold to a person who is not an agriculturist for agricultural purpose if the annual income of such person from other sources exceeds 5000 rupees ah, so but it they, they this was a situation where ex post facto permission could be granted no no ma'am Ah, yes. This is no, no prior permission. Is a, it this, says, per, this permission it's, must it's come like prior. 64. No, it's like 63. 63. 63. There is a difference between 43 and 63. Yes, there's a difference. So, in that second this, appeal, my lords have held. Yes. This, for, this, this is in the same language, which is As there 63. in 63. Correct. So, there is ex para to 63. Uh, ex post facto permission could be granted. Subject to fulfillment or fulfillment of the conditions. Milord, would my lords read the proviso once again? does not use the word prior permission. Milord, may I read the proviso once again? Provided further. So, Milord, the provided we the cannot collector... read. We cannot read words prior permission. We can read that provided that so and so may grant permission for such sales. Provided so, that no such permission the conditions can be granted be where yes. land is being sold. To a person who is not an agriculturist. All right. That is one of the conditions. Correct. Okay. For agricultural purpose. Okay. If the annual income from right. uh, of such person from other sources exceeds 5,000 rupees. Hmm. Okay. So what is your argument? Is? So, Milo, you my can argument... take action anytime, whenever you want. No, Milord. It's not about any time. The Honorable Court would please be. What please. is the reasonable time according to you? Milord, my submission is it cannot be a straitjacket formula. Okay. It must so, but, but what, from what, matter what to matter. would be the test? The test then, would be, then you have to ask if it is not so, a straight, if it if it is not a straitjacket formula, then there has to be some test to to uh, apply in a particular case. And ascertain as to what would be the criteria or ingredients to come to the conclusion whether the time period which is there is reasonable or not. Correct. Please, my lords. So, so there has that, to be some test. My lords, while examining that test, whether the time period is reasonable or otherwise, would all we'll look not that only the facts of the case. I'm sorry. Would look only to the facts of the case. Would vary then, the then we then we would be whimsical because in one case we may be carried by the facts of the case. That but therefore, would facts of the case are almost similar because in all those cases there are sale deeds according to you in violation of section 54. So that is whether violation is by way of sale mortgage or violation is for one reason or another reason, right. but the facts are same that there is a violation. Violation is of section 54. So then when there is a violation and then question comes of summary eviction. So whether you can argue because there is no vesting here, right? So whether you can argue that anybody can be evicted at any point of time, whenever the uh, uh, this RTS inquiry is made and the collector, it comes to the knowledge of the collector that there is violation. You can evict. Milord, if the converse be examined, see, it's it's not about see. Would the honourable court please, please try to understand? Our judgment would not only affect these cases; it would have a far-reaching consequence. Yes, oh, yes. right. I'm relying so, on your ladyship's judgment. So, so if if it is having a far-reaching consequence, then we have to go beyond the facts of the case to see the legal position. So the test as to how the court would reach at a conclusion that in a given case, what would be a reasonable time? When I am saying in a given case, that does not mean individual facts of the case. Section 54 is common. Violation of Section 54 is common. Summary eviction is common for everyone. Right? 
Now, the only question for us to answer is as to what would be the reasonable time. What would be the reasonable time will not depend upon the facts of individual facts of these cases. Because in these cases, there is only one argument of yours that whenever this RTS inquiry was conducted, which is normally conducted in four or five years, then you came to know that there was violation. Right? This is the only reason given by you, which is which is common but for every case, therefore, which is which also does not vary from the facts of the case. Would the invalidity or a transaction prohibited by law, considering that these are not lands which they have they have purchased from market? These are lands which were granted under the Saurashtra market. No. These are lands under land reforms. No. So I will give the history of the Saurashtra Land Reforms Act. And my laws have also referred to it, how the erstwhile state of Katyawad came thereafter. The so for these land, for these land, then can you argue that there would be no reasonable time? My Lord, my... If first, if I'm first, first, you have to cross that barrier no Milot, my what argument would be, would be it, that invalid according to you according to you once invalid always invalid if this is argument then you make that argument yes my argument is that this invalidity would render the transaction void they could not have sought a decree founded on this agreement could they have sought a decree based on this the law would say no could they have so sought un anything unless, better than... See, unless, un unless and until you are able to argue and demonstrate that this would make the transaction ipso facto void. Yes. This would. That is then, the argument. You... This is the argument. And this goes to the root of the transaction. Then the... No, no. Go, see. Then, then you are mixing two issues. This goes to the root of the transaction is something else. No, no. But this trans this would make the transaction bad for all times to come. Void ab initio. It is, it is transaction which is void ab initio. Ab initio and, and, no, and no validity can be attached to That's this right. transaction. That is my by opinion. by passage of time, yes. by any changes brought right. with the passage of time. That's and right. if you can argue this, then it would be a completely different then this situation. Point of Milot, an instrument which is void, you cannot see. No, so law, see, Act does not say that it is void. The Act, act attaches invalid. Uh, act attaches invalidity. Invalidity. And then it says the collector may grant permission. Correct. So once the Act attaches in a, and may grant permission on the conditions prescribed. Correct. So there is validity, invalidity, but invalidity is curable. Right. Because by the permission granted by the collector okay. on the conditions provided. Correct. So in that situation, what would be the... So whatever changes you have brought in the year 2015, all these uh, lacunas which are coming up, you try to cure by those 2015 amendments. So all this was not available prior to 2015. Prior to that. So that is why the, the all these provisions were brought, that so motor inquiry by the collector, if he has reason to believe, whenever the facts came to his knowledge. So the tenor of the act, the situation prior to 2015. That is all we are focused. All right. So continue when? Monday. 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 We will hear you for one hour on Monday at 3 p.m. Three to four. And from four on. Well, may I, with my Lord's kind permission, mention the very next matter. You know, we are. Sorry, sir. Please, sir. I don't know. Okay. Well, we are. Yes. Sir.